Welcome in, everybody. Uh, so, the name of the game today, more DAs. If you missed it last week, we got two shiny Starmies in one stream. It was really stupid. <laughs> so I'm hoping we see no more of those, despite it being like a very good shiny. Um... One other thing, you know what, I should show you guys actually, hold on, before we get going tonight, let me show you. I did, Keith, welcome in, hi ho I did a uh, test stream on Twitch today to test some bot changes, because I didn't want them to happen in YouTube, like the place where everybody's actually at. I did like two encounters during this stream, and this thing shows up. I'm just, I'm just like running around in Route 1 and the shiny Wooloo shows up. So I found this today. And you know what? I haven't actually checked to see if it has like a mark or anything like that. No, whatever, you know. It's a very good shiny though. And it was very random. It's been a while since I've had like a, a you know, just out of the blue shiny like this. Something I wasn't looking for actively. <laughs> um, the pasta man of teeth with carpets there it is <laughs> uh, I have a couple other things to show you guys tomorrow's stream is going to be extra spicy so uh, don't miss it we have two booster boxes of the new set the new Japanese set I'm very excited to open these there's some very spicy stuff in this set. So we're going to be opening these tomorrow. But besides that, I got... I'm just going to show you guys some cool stuff. I'm going to flex a little bit. This showed up in the mail. It's holographic in Japanese. I don't think it's holographic in English. The whole box, like all of the art, is like a metallic holographic. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um... But I got some cool stuff from Japan. I have been shopping. And uh, besides these, I have a bunch of mainline Pokemon games that uh, we're going to be going through live on the air. Gonna be seeing what kind of rare Pokemans are in all of these games. I got a bunch of DS and GBA games. So uh, tomorrow, don't miss it. <laughs> it's gonna be a, a very spicy night. But tonight's gonna be a spicy night too. Just a, a different kind of spice. Pokemon Pinball is one of the most underrated like spin-off Pokemon games, I feel like. People don't show it the love that it deserves. I myself am a big Pokemon pinball stan. I kind of... They really need to, to roll out a new Pokemon pinball. Have some shinies in it. Give it the longevity. Guys, uh, the code. We're going to do Tapu Lele. Let's, let's get to this. Oh, wait. I have one more thing. Uh, this isn't for the stream tomorrow. But we had something show up at the P.O. Box. A little friend... Ray's made this, the absolute legend, not a turtle, but a little, uh, a little friend. And I don't think I can really, um, <laughs> can really tell you guys how soft this little friend is, but yeah, sent a little, a little ditto over my way and I greatly appreciate it. It took some, some effort to get this thing to show up, but it did happen. Z with the gifty, I appreciate you. Um, Piplup fan, make sure you say thanks. And Ceiling Cat, if you're here right now, I don't see you right now, but um, if you're here, I appreciate. There was a fifty dollar just like hail mary at the beginning of stream before it even happened, before like the starting soon screen even happened. <laughs> if you're here, I appreciate you. Um, without further ado. Tapu Lele. You guys, everybody is welcome, so get in here. 888-5566 is the code. Get in here, guys. It's not a ditto. It is indeed a ditto. 
It's a, a special kind of ditto. Even more shiny than a regular ditto. Not blue, not pink. All of the colors. That was quick, guys. You're always on it. Love to see it. <laughs> um, there's another on the way for Julissa. I'm telling you. We <laughs> um, hold on. Dark? No. Ghost, steel, poison is what we're looking for. Ghost, steel, poison. All right. Well, we're already getting the squad. Uh, forever bound to is it Ilex or Elix? Elix Forest, Ilex Forest, Ilex probably. On Monday, I got the Shiny Charm and Legends. Tomorrow, I'm going to go back to Electivire Resets since I perfected it today. Very nice. So you have very, very good odds of finding it then. So hopefully you get it quick. Ilex. Ilex. There it is. Um, I really need to do some of those hunts before they're gone, gone. I think Durant has, like, Iron Head, right? Go Durant and then... We can go to that Aurorus. <laughs> I'm going to go right. <laughs> I know there's a Jellicent there, but it doesn't really do much for us. Um, Raze, you would be proud of me. I watched one episode of Shogun. I think on Tuesday. <laughs> I watched an episode during some downtime. And, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, it definitely is like Japanese... Game of Thrones. I, I get that vibe. It definitely has the same kind of deal going on. But I only have watched one episode. I haven't really gotten that far. But I did start. So you don't have to be too angry anymore. Just slightly angry. <laughs> um, 5180 soft resets for Poipole. First ever full on soft reset hunt. Not going well. Um, yeah, you're over odds, huh? It's a good shiny, though. It's worth it. <laughs> Jeff, welcome in. Tuesday, I got back to Legends with Lunala. and Oh, you got back-to-back -back Legends. Lunala and Blacephalon. I don't, dude, I don't know what the deal is with, uh, with Keith Stroganoff here. But that dude got a double shiny Reshiram. He dual hunts like I do. He got the legendary in two games at once. Two Reshirams. It is insanity. I don't know how he keeps getting away with it, but he does. <laughs> you doing these with other players or just yourself? Simipor fan. All of these DAs I am doing with... Uh, it's two consoles are mine and then two other people from chat. So anybody is welcome to hop in here. Keith is out of control. I would agree. <laughs> um, had a tornado warning. Dude, I don't know what the deal is. I feel like every stream I have, somebody's house is like in some tornado or like windy, like wind condition stuff. I don't know what the deal is. I, I learned it from watching you. <laughs> You didn't learn it from watching me. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> you definitely did not learn that from me. <laughs> um, Every shiny I have is your fault. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> uh, just don't join back to back. That is the only rule, guys, for the DAs. Just do not join back to back. Other than that, first come, first serve. Get in on on as many as you can. Is the bot sleeping? No, it's not sleeping. You did a, a hashtag how do DA at first. Somebody should grab this. This thing's not bad. It's got metal sound and metal uh, metal claw. A tornado of shiny luck. That is what I need. <laughs> I'll take that. Uh, Garg, welcome in. Uh, where do we want to go? I mean, we can go wheezing, but that's like weak to it. I think I just want to go right. Let's just take the easy path here. 
I'm going Tangela because I really do not want a girder. I would like to go to that Aurorus if we can. Uh, first soft reset hunt was Squirtle in Fire Red. Got it in 200. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never had that luck since. Yeah, that's uh, that's the problem with the insanely good luck is usually it's followed by insanely bad luck. <laughs> we found that out during... What was our 24... 24,000? It, it was one of the starters, right? Was it Torchic? What did we get Torchic at? It it took a hot minute. But it definitely... it's uh, It comes and goes, the luck. Unless you're, you're Keith Stroganoff. And then it's just a constant... It just keeps outdoing itself over and over. <laughs> um, remember a year ago when I commented, do scatterbug on scarlet and violet shiny hunting video, and you replied. Um, I replied. <laughs> do I remember replying to that? I don't, but I do remember scatterbug being a an absolute nightmare shiny hunt for me for a very long time so if you're the the cause of that you're on my list <laughs> uh spent all day shiny hunting delmise and got it in 520x you got it basically right at odds not bad it's delmise right uh <laughs> it's anomaly haven't been in chat for a really long time. Good to be back. Good to have you back. It seems like we've had a lot of people recently that are just kind of rolling out after a, a bit of a break. I know Pokemon stuff kind of, for a lot of people, it's like you're into it and then you're not for a while and then the new game comes out and then you're into it again. It kind of goes like this, right? So <laughs> I get it. I appreciate you guys popping in though, hanging out. And I appreciate Pseudo Wudo gifted a membership uh turn it on i saying that right make sure you say thanks and everybody else exclamation gift make sure you're opted in otherwise you cannot get one of those spicy memberships you can't get access to mr kappa uh started watching calm a little after scarlet and violet dropped uh been really fun ever since you'll love to see it I appreciate y'all hanging out. Uh, Scarlet and Violet was a big boom for the channel. It was insanity during that time. And I have a feeling the next Legends game is going to be a similar deal. So just buckle up. Y'all are the OGs at this point. <laughs> Mystic, welcome in. Um, I'm catching up. I'm, I'm behind. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Good day, Calm and Crew. Porsche Nut, welcome in. We're going to Aurorus. It isn't good against uh, Tapu Lele, but it's a good shiny. Uh, looking forward to playing that with everyone during stream. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. I am very excited for the next Legends game. I'm, I'm ready. Had to spice up the old PETA joke. PETA. <laughs> Did I miss? Hello, Sir PETA. The horse seems to be in this location. Hmm. Very interesting. Interesting joke indeed. <laughs> uh, what do you think the starters will be? I don't know. If... I'm trying to think. Because whatever the starters are going to be, almost w with 100% certainty, have to mega evolve. And they're probably going to be new. Right? Like new Mega Evolutions, not old stuff. Dude, two of our Pokemon are paralyzed. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> um Sam, Heidi Ho. Holding out a pretty holding a pretty solid Landorus path, but it's boring, yeah. It's also a pretty boring shiny, unfortunately. But I am going to have to get the shiny genies at some point. Shiny Torchic and Piplup are going to be the starters. Oh, Snivy, not Shiny. <laughs> Snivy, Torchic, and Piplup. I feel like 
The only thing is Torchic is the only one of those that already has a Mega Evolution. I think they're probably going to go for something that doesn't have one, right? Okay, so our whole team is going to be paralyzed, is, is what's happening here. Can't stick around, wanted to pop in for a bit, Mel, I appreciate you popping in. How are you liking the new Pokemon Go stuff? You been playing much? I've heard that uh, a lot of people are very mad about how ugly their characters are now. But uh, Pokemon Go has always been kind of ugly, if... <laughs> If I'm being honest, <laughs> I think people are just now realizing it is though. Um, say it'd be Score Bunny instead. Yeah, maybe like a Gen Eight thing. It sucks. <laughs> the gamer dent is pretty funny. I don't know if you guys have seen when the when they have like the headphones on, they get a crazy gamer dent, like like that big of a gamer dent on their top of their head. It's messed up. <laughs> um, want to see my boy Grookey? Dude, um, I know that Reelaboom is already used quite a bit in competitive. They gave him a Mega Evolution too. I can't even imagine. <laughs> Pseudo Wudo gifted another membership. Dia, make sure you say thanks. Uh, and guys, you know the deal. Opt in, say thanks to whoever gives you a membership, all that stuff. Get some, some pay buttons, some Mr. Kappas. Show some love. Boom. My avatar basically looks the same. Can't tell what that is. It's only like three pixels for me. <laughs> Not even subbed, and I'm a member. You'll love to see it. We have a bunch of people who gift memberships all the time. So that would explain why. <laughs> Reddit's very mad. Loads of paid assets don't fit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard that, like, different combos that people were wearing no longer work, which is... I would be annoyed, too. <laughs> um, talking about, oh, your pogo avatar, I got you. I got you. I'm not swapping. We're, we're locking this in. If one of you guys want to take it, though, I think now's the time. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, maybe subscribe to Calm. Just, you know, think about it. If you're if you're down with the vibes, you can sub. I don't, you know, I don't try to harass you guys too much on that. I do try to harass you guys to like the stream occasionally. I've been doing that more frequently, but the subscribe stuff... If you want to be here, if you want the notification, sub up. I appreciate it. But don't just do it because you feel like you have to, you know. I, I would rather have people that want to be subbed. All of the homies... <laughs> uh, you know, whatever Mel says happens to you if you don't sub, that's between uh, you and her. <laughs> and Mel says, you better do it. Um, <laughs> My asymmetrical look still works, just need long hair covering the one eye. Yeah, I don't really play Pogo, so I don't even know. I'm not really sure what's going on with my guy. Hello, Shadow. I see you there, saying hi a few times. Hi. <laughs> How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? This could be said about a lot of things about me. <laughs> um, we want volunteers, not... Yeah, no. That's what we want. We just want the people that want to be in the vibes. And having a membership, you already got some perks, I will say. Some of the best emotes on YouTube, some people say. I'm some people. <laughs> we may have front-facing baby chick, but we have no turt. You hate to see it. But um, front-facing baby chick is just part of the YouTube emotes. There might be a turtle in the YouTube emotes. They make it happen. <laughs> Cheese bowl, welcome in. Uh, what ditto is chat wanting me to see? Oh. Z and Raze, I appreciate you. Sub to calm collecting on common. There it is. Collecting the <laughs> Okay. <laughs> calm, please show Mel the boy or I release the front facing baby chick. Um, here's the boy. 
And also, Biden had another stroke. But, um, yeah. That was the boy. I he, he pretended like he was done talking. But, yeah. Ray's crocheted a little friend. He's very squishy. And we had a big issue with USPS on this. But we finally got it back. Because it got delivered to the wrong person at first, as it turns out. And we had a whole ordeal with it. But we're good now. We're good. <laughs> um, yeah, Ray's made it. I'm telling you, we have some very talented homies in the community. I'm always surprised by the uh, the level of just like the art and all of the stuff that I see. We got a lot of a lot of talented homies in here. We need a new like goal, guys. I appreciate you liking the stream. There's a flaming heart, 100% light goal there. I got, you know what? We can, we can make it happen. Boom, light goal 100. If you guys haven't liked the stream, just think about it. Help you boy out. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. That person should have kept it. I sent a letter to that person. Okay, hold on. This is DA three and four since our last shiny. Our last shiny was. Our second shiny Starmie of the night. So I'm hoping that we have no shiny Starmies at all tonight. Here we go. No Durant. No Tangela. No Aurorus. No Tapu Lele. Moving right along. <laughs> Is the wrong person Jalissa? No. It was not Jalissa. So what happened was... The post office delivered it to the wrong person. Uh, and then when I asked them about it, they said, oh, yeah, we delivered it to the wrong person, but it's already delivered so you can eat it. I'm like, well, OK, <laughs> it's a P.O. box. So, you know who that person is. They wouldn't do anything about it. And uh, I sent a letter to that P.O. box to basically just be like, hey, uh, can you send me that back? And I sent that letter. <laughs> I sent the letter and uh, just waited. I gave my email address and like a Google Google Voice number for them to like get in contact with me. And uh, they never replied back. And I was like, well, this thing's gone. And then the other day was this week. My wife checked the P.O. box. It was in there and my letter got returned to sender. It said that it didn't get delivered for whatever reason. I don't know why. But yeah. So we got both things back. They didn't even have to look at my letter to give us the the plushie back. You'll love to see it. Guys, let's continue these DAs. Tapu Lele, um, if you were in the last one, please don't join back to back. Everybody else, the code 8888-5544 for Tapu Lele. Gotta love USPS. Yeah, it is something. I'm probably just going to be getting rid of my P.O. box with uh, USPS. I'll probably get one over at like the UPS store or something because it's just... I'm done giving them money. They're just the worst. The guy... I, I'll tell you what. I was not calm. Not collected during the uh, the discussion with this guy because it was just... I was just like, you have the contact info for this person. And he said, okay, well, what is your name? So I can uh, get a get a report filed. And I go, Sean. And he starts spelling it S-H-A-U-N. And that's not how my name is spelled. It's S-E-A-N. And I go, no, no, S-E-A-N. And he goes, oh, okay. And he goes, crosses out the U, turns it into S-H-A-E-N. And I'm like, no, S-E-A-N. And he goes, oh, okay. And he crosses out the A and the E. And does S H E A N? <laughs> I'm just like, bro, <laughs> what are you doing? I said S E. Hold on, I need to. We're gonna go left, and then we'll go to the clang, and then I think there's a. That's fine. Whatever. We're looking for steel, poison, ghost. This is a better path. There's a palisade here, but I I literally, I like spelled my name six 
times probably, and every time he found a way to misspell it. And I, he's just like going a million miles a minute. I'm like, S-E-A-N, S-E-A-N. And he, after like the fifth time, I'm like, stop writing, S-E-A-N, four letters, in that order, like I, I, I will say I was not like the the nicest, happiest guy when I said that, but I feel like I had the the right. And he goes, "Calm down." I'm like, "Dude, I said this like five times. Don't tell me to calm down." Four letters. <laughs> it was a it was a time told me to calm down dude come on yeah i was not happy telling somebody to calm down is probably it might be the worst way to calm somebody down <laughs> i don't think anybody has ever said calm down to somebody and it calmed them down i don't think it's ever worked it's always something that escalates this situation <laughs> yeah it always does the opposite and then he gave me a, um, oh, I, Ray's, I was shaken. I was not a happy camper, not calm. <laughs> I was collecting rage. I was in fact, um, people are like that with my last name. Uh, they always mispronounce it, even though it's very simple. Three letter last name rhymes with quite a few words. I gotta be honest, I guess. So like, here's the difference. I definitely will mispronounce many things on stream. I can barely read, and I admit that. But when somebody is telling me the letters in order, I can 100% spell it out. Doesn't matter how many letters it is. Just tell me the letters in order. I will write them down correctly. <laughs> I guarantee I can do that. The guy just wasn't listening. And I was like, this thing is no wonder this got lost. Like the guy, he is writing down what I'm saying completely incorrectly. It's no wonder everything's lost here. And at the bottom, it has like the supervisor head of the UPS or USPS uh, office there. The big head honcho at the bottom. And I'm like, so do I just call this guy? And he's like, that's me. <laughs> You're... You're the top dog? <laughs> Four letters. You're the top dog? <laughs> oh, oh, I was just, I, I felt like I, there was no chance I was getting this thing. There, zero percent chance your boy was getting this. Raise with the immediate lock-in of the uh, Puku Muku, you crazy. Uh, I'm probably gonna swap Slow King. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, anyways, uh, enough of the calm rage. <laughs> um, yeah, one of the words is saw, which is an everyday word, and somehow, somehow people still mess it up. I got you. <laughs> I, I will tell you, I would find a way to mess it up. <laughs> we can do better. I just... I've never, I don't think anybody's had an amazing experience with USPS. You might have a passable experience, but that's about as, as good as it gets, right? Um, <laughs> I'm not going to write down a supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. I'm not going to do it, but I could, if you spelled it out letter by letter, I could, in fact, <laughs> um, you fell for the old, I am the manager. I know. <laughs> and you know, the thing is he had like the, uh, the door, you know, in the cartoons when they're like, I'm, let me go get my manager. They close the door and then they reopen it. And they're just like wearing a different hat or something. That's basically what this guy pulled. Cause they have the little half door. <laughs> I'm just like, bro. <laughs> Uh, you'll have to tell me where to send the next one. Yeah, no, I, um, so it, it kind of is tough. If you do exclamation PO box, that address is right. But for whatever reason on the one that you sent last time, I don't know if it was you or the like post office where you sent it from, but 
it had a P.O. box number that was on top of it. Like the address when you do exclamation P.O. box in the chat is the address that you need to send it to. It's written like a business address. It doesn't say that it's a P.O. box. And that's on purpose because if you UPS or FedEx is involved in the shipping process at all, they will not deliver to a P.O. box. They never will. But if you use the regular like business address of the uh, post office, then they will deliver it. They just drop it to the post office and it has the unit number so it will go to the P.O. box is how it works. So that's the reason that it's like a regular old address. It wasn't me because I was afraid of messing it up. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, <laughs> then uh, it, <laughs> it was totally on them. And I don't think you could mess it up more than they messed it up. <laughs> um, imagine the level of... <laughs> of what? <laughs> what? What is this, Keith? What is that word? Please spell dingus. I, I'm not going to have the spelling be with you guys because I'm going to prove that I can't spell. And I don't want to prove that. Uh, <laughs> can you please say, what's up, brother? What's up, brother? There you go. I'm reading that as Hulk Hogan, which I'm assuming that's why you, why you asked for that. Do the kids know about Hulk Hogan anymore? He's probably too old for you guys. Tracy, welcome in. Uh, sitting around and don't know what to play now. Dynamax Adventures. Sword and Shield. <laughs> um, I can do this for some of the mods. Uh, C. Tox toxic. Tox kicks. <laughs> what is happening right now, Vlad? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Um, Tauros is burned. All right, we're gonna let Puku Muku grab this because Puku Muku is even worse than a burned Tauros. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Play a tub thumping by Chumbawamba. Um, <laughs> hold on. Do we have? I think I want to go Obstagoon just because it's the best shiny here. It's not really good against Tapu Lele. I forgot about Tub Thumping. I get knocked down, but I get up again. There's not a lot of Australian like pop songs that make it across the pond. It's pretty much just Tub Thumping. And is Lord Australian? I feel like there's not a lot of uh, Australia representation here in the uh, the music biz. Hmm. <laughs> what are you gonna do when Hulkamania comes for you? I wish I knew. I've still been trying to plan it out. I am not positive. <laughs> Overrated artists go. This is how the streamer gets absolutely killed on stream. And I don't... Metallica. Metallica is very overrated, guys. We've talked about this before. They just played too much on the radio. I can't be bothered to care when they're just that available. It, it kills me. I hate hearing it. They're just very long, too. Their songs are like seven minutes long. Like, get it over with, man. I, you know, I like one it just because it was a fun Guitar Hero thing. And it had a cool backstory. So confused with this chat tonight. It is strange. <laughs> There's something going on tonight. <laughs> Wife is in the room. I did show them the little guy. I never hear Metallica music. Um, there he is. He says hi again. Chat is juiced tonight. It is in fact juiced. Uh, say hi to the wife. 
hi to the wife. The people say hi. She's making him dab. Don't tear him in half. That's just what I need is for you to tear the the custom made ditto day one of the stream after we get it. <laughs> uh, she says yours is on the way. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Wife is causing issues already. I'm telling you. Uh, first Metallica album, Kill Em All, Four Horsemen, and Seek and Destroy, Best Stuff. There it is. As some people mentioned, I forget what the album was, that they said, like, if you want the non-radio stuff, listen to this one. I can't remember what it was. I just, I don't know, dude. Speaking of music, by the way, I went to a Hatsune Miku concert uh, over the weekend. Was it Monday? It was Sunday. It was Sunday. Uh, it was pretty neat. It was a good time. Palisand, I guess? No, Palisand doesn't swap. Tauros swaps. I'm swapping here because Tauros is burnt. But yeah, I went to a uh, Hatsune Miku thing, and it was pretty cool. It was neat. It was not a hologram like they said it was going to be, and people were furious about the hologram thing. <laughs> <laughs> they were very mad, which, you know, they they were kind of sketchy about it. They're like, hey, make sure you buy the special glow sticks from the merch store because we won't let you in with anything else because it messes with the hologram. And then after they sold all the merch online, they go, oh, by the way, it's not a hologram. It, well, I don't think they ever said it on the site. Everybody was just like, they showed up and it's a big no, LED they screen. Never they it. never said it. They just... It was just there, and everybody's like, what the heck? I bought the glow stick. <laughs> Shiny Absol from D8. Very nice. I guess I'm going to screech. Why not? Uh, my faith in humanity is gone. Every time somebody uses the wrong two in a sentence in ninth grade, don't don't be the, the grammar person, although I do get it. The, the different twos... Get it figured out, guys. TWO is the number two. <laughs> That's too crazy, says Keith. <laughs> too true. Too true. <laughs> the photo showed a hologram, didn't they? I don't know if, like, in their promotional material, if they showed that or not. But I do know that they, in their, like, text of the site, said that it was going to be. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. But it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I mean, it it wasn't just one TV, by the way, either. It's like one big TV where Miku or whoever the Vocaloid is was dancing. But then there were a bunch of other TVs, like, all over the place that all had different, like, lighting effects going on. And there was a live band. The live band was my favorite part of it. Uh, they had, like, one keyboard player, guitar, bass, and drum player. And they were all doing their thing with the music, and it was cool. It added a lot to the songs, having the, the live kind of, like, rock, rock kind of metal-y band at some times. There were some songs that were crazy. They were, like, actual, <laughs> like, metal, gent, like chugging guitar type deals there were there were a couple songs like that which was cool i wasn't expecting it and then i went down a deep rabbit hole of vocaloid music afterwards and found a bunch of miku metal so <laughs> that's that's where i'm living right now i'm living the miku metal life any wawaka songs wawaka songs is that a a vocaloid music producer person i i gotta be honest I'm a gigantic boomer, and the music that I know from Miku is all from, like, early, mid-2000s. So I knew literally two songs at this thing. <laughs> like, it was it was pretty rough for your boy. It was still good. I just, uh, I didn't know any of the songs going into it. It was an artist, Rolling Girl, no... Dude, I'm telling you, Rolling Girl was one of the ones I wanted to hear. They didn't do Popey Po. Popey Po. 
They didn't do any of my any of my boomer songs, unfortunately. Quentin, welcome in. Where did my member go? 30 days. Yeah, it's in Ohio now. Guys, this is DA 5 and 6 since the last shiny. Here we go. No Tauros. No Palisand. No Obstagoon. Get me out of here. Hassan gifting a membership. Uh, trying to... <laughs> trying to grab Quentin, but you know what? Got no bark as well. Pretty pretty high value target, I would say. Keith Stroganoff celebrates 13 months of membership. Keith, I, I we appreciate over you. A year. We over a year, so you are officially a luxury baller. You love to see it. Guys, we're going to do one more Tapu Lele, and then we'll change it up a little bit. My wife is tearing apart everything I have at my desk. She's destroying it. <laughs> um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Here we go. I hear the cat eating dog food in your room right now. The cat is on my wife's desk eating food off of her desk. My cat has been a menace to society recently. Uh, guys, if you were in the last one, please don't join back to back. But everybody else, the code 8888-5500. Or Tapu Lele. <laughs> uh, Hassan, buddy, I appreciate you, by the way. I know we were kind of in the middle of something. But, uh, no bark, make sure you say thanks. If I missed it, uh, you already said it. I knew you would. <clears throat> Tertika celebrates 19 months of membership, 5 months to Beast Ball. Sir Sheiker, I appreciate you. And Beast Ball will be very soon. It'll be here before you know it. Uh, ghost, Steel, Poison. What we're looking for. We're finding it. We're finding all the things. Um, <laughs> what is the command? What are you looking for, Mel? What? What is the... <laughs> I'm not sure what she's looking for. Uh, <laughs> I'm scrolling back looking. Raise with the 10 gifties. Raise, I appreciate you. Popping off. Is it merch? Oh, exclamation shop. That doesn't seem like what she's looking for, though, is it? For your equipment. I So I only really have one. Let's go left for Go Lurk. I only really have one for the DS stuff. I don't really have a command for like my camera or, my, or mic or anything like that. Is that what you mean? Hmm. Uh, Zach is in the calm DA's Hall of Fame. I'm telling you, it's just, uh, there's really nobody else who is as consistent <laughs> with joining the DA's. I'm telling you. <laughs> my wife is just showing the entirety of the contents of my desk I'm not sure if there's this is my wedding ring you don't wear. that I don't wear she says uh, meanwhile she also doesn't wear hers so just so we're clear here this is a two way street uh yeah I don't wear my, my wedding ring at home at my computer desk all the time it's just how it is I guess I'm sorry I'm still bound 95 DAs in without a shiny me and calm be <laughs> yeah, I'm not in the trenches anymore fortunately unfortunately we got two shiny starmies last stream so <laughs> I'm in the starmy trenches now it's kind of worse Lycol 150 guys I appreciate you liking the stream are we ready for it though we good we are I appreciate you guys let me get this pinned up. Wife is playing show and tell, she says. We'll just enjoy the show and tell, guys. <laughs> Calm's wedding ring is the Tyranitar figure. It is indeed. Ball and chain to the computer desk. Yeah, I gotta pay the bills. Wife keeps ordering Disneyland trips and things, so I have to keep just going. There's my... My inkling, yeah. 
Did I buy that for you? Did I get that from Japan? I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, Camping did you get with double monsters bully? celebrates two months of membership. Camping. I'm 15 phases for go let in Sai. Mm. I want out of here. In, in Zai. You hate to see it. I hate it when I am 15 phases into Golet in Zai. <laughs> um, hopefully you get that Golet soon because that is insane. How many things are even in the route that you're going for Golet on? You've got to just be getting only dupes now, right? <laughs> Camping with monsters. I appreciate the two months. Um, hmm, hmm. Hmm. I'm catching up on chat. I'm sorry. I'm like really behind, guys. Chat's been going bananas today. <laughs> Actual question. Where did the T-Tar figure come from? It looks cool. It is a uh, blind box figure from Japan. And it was from a set that was like... Um, like office. Like you would put it on your desk. So like... He comes with a rock thing and a pen goes here. Or a pencil or whatever. And he sits on your desk and it's like a... Yeah. Uh, I have a couple of them. There's a Blaziken, same kind of deal. It's like a pen holder. And they have a lot of different things like this. But it's a little bit older. I don't know if you're going to be able to find it like super easily. There it is, holding a chapstick. <laughs> <clears throat> uh chat is on friday energy it's only thursday <laughs> mel says i am out dude y'all are too crazy let's just go left i think we just demolish the uh the boulder and it's a very good shiny which is a bonus uh my dupes include four emolgas four yanmas and three haluchas oh god there's still th technically three shinies I don't have on this route. Uh, how are you missing three other ones? <laughs> what is the deal? <laughs> are they like weird things though? Like not things you get from normal encounters or something? Is that it? Show the other earphone he doesn't use. It's... Who knows? I don't think I have it. It's just on the desk. I always have it like paired up just in case... I uh, need to switch ears like my ears hurting or something. It's it's always available. But it looks exactly like this one. <laughs> when y'all are too crazy for me, then we know I'm lay tired. Lay tired. Get some sleep, Mel. It's all good. Uh, doing my first soft reset shiny hunt for Registeel in BDSP. Any tips? Buckle up. BDSP soft resets are the slowest soft resets. They are a nightmare. It just... There's no real... Uh, no real great thing for you. You just have to soft reset. Get some anime up on a second monitor or something. Be doing something else. Don't even look at it. Just... Well, maybe look just a tiny bit, but do not focus on it. Don't look at your counter at all. Maybe at the end of day, you can check the counter and be like, wow, I made some progress. Don't look at it during the process because it sucks. <laughs> I went like 4,500 for Arcus, and every time I would look at the counter and it's only gone up by 200, I'm just like, oh, I'm going to be here for years. <laughs> Um, I have four little kittens. They're all black with specks of white. One has white eyelashes and one has swimmer legs. Swimmer legs? The heck are swimmer legs? What Wife is in here. What about concerts? We're going to a new one. Oh yeah, we're going to an Avatar concert. And I'm going to cry in public at Leaves from the Vine. My wife is very excited to see me... <laughs> Crying like an idiot in the club. Everybody's gangsta until Uncle Iroh starts singing Leaves from the Vine. I'm telling you. <laughs> um, best advice I can ever give for shiny hunting in general is to pace yourself. Yeah, that is a thing. Do not ever feel like you have to just 
and keep hammering it out like it doesn't matter if you take a break between them odds are still odds like you don't have to do them all back to back my wife is dying right now <laughs> choking on jalapeno cheetos <laughs> um sound bending yes i will be tear bending at the concert means back legs no worky oh i gotcha i've seen you know what it really doesn't stop them i've seen those cats like sliding around doing the uh the drift around the house what is that water type i really don't want to go to toxtricity if we can help it uh it's a quillfish i think we go quillfish yeah to the right sorry i know that was late that's fine i couldn't tell what it was i really couldn't see it <laughs> what's leaves from the vine haven't watched avatar in a while that's the thing where uncle iroh is singing to his son it's an old man being very sad just like me <laughs> um <laughs> Hmm. Cats are very resilient. Yes, they are. I'll tell you that it, it seems like something that just uh, almost gives a little bit of additional character. Because they seem like they're even more mischievous in the videos I see of them. <laughs> it's just like, what is this dude doing? <laughs> uh, Ira was a real homie, as was uh, Mako, the voice actor guy, right? Yeah. Uh, scene always breaks me no matter how many times I rewatch it. Always dread tales from Ba Sing Se. Um, yeah. It's just, there's no way for me to avoid it. Same with me. It just, it hits on a few different levels. Already have all four Guardians of Alola shiny forms. Uh, events associated with them back in Gen 7. They gave away shiny Tapus? during gen 7 days hmm um yeah i don't have any of these but this isn't all we're going to be doing tonight so if you aren't interested in the tapus just just wait we'll have some other things tonight uh calm and collecting do you know what that what holla what are you talking about <laughs> I don't know what any of this combination of words means. Not sure what I'm going to name the shiny Kartana. Thinking something basic like origami, uh, but willing to take any suggestions into consideration. Hmm. A nickname for Kartana. Grass steel origami something. Does anybody have any good ideas? I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say on that. I feel like there's potential for a pretty good one here. Heatran tonight. I'd be down to run a Heatran. Not a great shiny, but I still need it. <laughs> Entei. Entei. I got Entei last stream. Or stream before last? Stream before last, I think. We've been popping off on the shiny legendaries, guys. I mean, we had the stream before before last was Kyurem and Lugia, same stream. And then uh, after that, we got Entei. No phases at all. And now we're in Nightmare Mode, where we get a bunch of shiny Starmies. <laughs> uh, Boris, read. Read for uh, Kartana. I'm down. Can I get the Pink Onion Fairy tonight, Z? I hope you do. What are you at, encounter-wise? Was talking about Danny Phantom. Um, I, I never really watched a ton of Danny Phantom. I watched a little bit. I never watched Codename Kids Next Door though. <laughs> never watched it. Like I, I saw an episode or two, but it like wasn't a show that I super was into at the time. I think that's when I was kind of like, like I'm too cool for cartoons. I don't watch those. I'm in middle school now. I don't watch cartoons. I was I think that's kind of where I was at. You know, we've all been there. <laughs> um called my Cartana Chromus cuz it's kind of chrome looking. 
Is it? <laughs> Just a little over 10k. Oh, God. So you are over odds. The problem is, is like... That's not like crazy over odds. Dude, the one in 8,000 odds are just brutal. Going double over odds is not like unheard of, right? But double over odds with one in 8,000 is just 16,000 encounters. It feels real bad. I know. Please send me some luck for the Disco Clown. Rebecca, I'll send you a little bit for right now, but we are going to be running some Disco Clown tonight as well. Hassan, you haven't... You haven't... I, I'm not trying to open up old wounds here. You haven't gotten the Disco Clown yet, have you? Are you on your break for it? Are you going to make the Disco Clown happen tonight? Uh, feeling that way in middle school, then realizing it's fine to still watch Spongebob in your 20s. I'm telling you, I wish I never had that stupid thought in my head. I wish I would have just continued liking the things that I was down with. It was the same with Yu-Gi-Oh. When, when I was in fifth grade, everybody was into Yu-Gi-Oh. Every, like, kid in my class was down with it. And then... The second you went to middle school, sixth grade, everybody was expected to not like it anymore in middle school. So there were a lot of like shady behind the building dealings of Yu-Gi-Oh trades, which I guess kind of fits the motif of Yu-Gi-Oh. The dark alley dealings. But everybody's like, we all still like Yu-Gi-Oh because we're all still the same kids we were. And Pokemon too. Yeah, Pokemon as well. And... um Everybody's like, we all still like it, but we can't let anybody know. I don't know who we were trying to fool. But yeah, that that was the life. It, it sucked. <laughs> um, <laughs> hmm. I'm catching up, catching up. Skuma, welcome in. How you doing, buddy? You're just in time for shiny Tapu Lele. Oh god, I almost threw a friend ball. Middle and high schoolers are just the ultimate deniers. They are, in fact. It's, uh... It's rough. Motif. Good word. I do know some words. I can't really read, but I do know a word or two. <laughs> uh, you learn with age not to care. Yep. Yeah, that's my advice to the younger audience watching right now. Don't let anybody tell you what is cool what you should and shouldn't like just you gotta have your own things and commit to it i feel like nowadays it's maybe a little bit easier a lot of people are into pokemon actively now back in my day we had to drudge through it a little bit guys da7 and 8 since our last shiny no golurk no boldor no tangela no tapu lele Moving right along. Um, calm stays cool even after summer break is over. I, maybe, we'll see. It's hot in this room. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty warm. Guys, I think we're going to do a Raikou because we have the other doggos. I th think we need to do at least one of these tonight. Maybe a couple. Read my previous message calm and collecting give me give me a hot minute here guys if you are on the last one please don't join back to back everybody else your time is now the code 8888-5569 for raikou we're only looking for ground types here hmm, hmm, hmm. I was doing da's for Entei and got a shiny cantonian marowak very nice it's a good shiny it's not bad Pseudo Wudo, I appreciate you gifting. Uh, Sir Spider, make sure you say thanks. Uh, I'm scrolling up looking for this message, Quentin. I don't usually do this. Your last message is a reply to no bark. <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> um, either way, let's let's do this. Ground types, guys. Ground types. Skuma has wares if you have coin. 
I didn't play a lot of that. I mean, I beat that game, but like, I, I know enough to get the reference. Ground types, guys. Got a lobby with Becky. Guys, I haven't mentioned this tonight, but if you're wanting to do DAs and you didn't get into this one, post a code. Run a DA with the homies, even if you join up and it's not with me. It's going to take about the same amount of time as me finishing this one anyways. So, this is your chance to get very good shiny odds. Use it. There's a Marowak. I think we have to go right. Yeah, and I think Bufalon might have a ground move. Let's go right. But the Marowak alone is worth it. I'm back. Thank you, my brother. Sir Spider, you love to see him. <laughs> Mm. <clears throat> you sure they're good shiny odds Quentin <laughs> you know I've had some very good shiny luck here uh, <laughs> we've had times where we went crazy over odds but um, I think overall my luck has been very good with the DAs just like in general I think we're definitely like overall under odds like in the long run but I haven't really been paying super close attention Julissa what the heck are you doing <laughs> I appreciate you guys if you got one of those gifties from Julissa say thanks that's the YouTube double funding right there <laughs> make sure you guys say thanks and everybody else opt in exclamation gift in the chat uh, otherwise it seems like you can get one now if you don't opt in, but I think you have a better chance if you opt in still. Because I think YouTube will hand it out to randos still. So, you know, make sure you're you're ahead of them in line. It's important stuff. Uh, I guess I'm just going to Earth Power. We're going to do damage now. Can't find anyone. If I do, they mostly just desert me and leave me with dumb AI. I will say the one benefit of being with the dumb AI, no attack animations is so much faster. <laughs> it's so nice. But the AI is real bad. Real, real bad. Luckiest moment was when I got a no charm shiny Ray Ray. Um, I mean, it's a very good shiny. <laughs> I would not be complaining at all. But you should get the charm. Do you not have the charm yet? Um, I got Pokemon Sword late last year, so I have a lot of shiny legendaries to get. Cat Princess, me too. <laughs> I got into this game really late. I got into it after Legends. I skipped it originally. And I just saw how cool Dynamax Adventures were. I thought it was perfect for stream. They are. They're a good time. But, uh, yeah, you're in good company here. I need a lot of them still. And guys, if you are wanting to run DAs, and I'm not streaming or I'm not doing DA stuff, the Discord, exclamation Discord in the chat, we have people running DAs every day now. It has been so active in the DA channel. Uh, it's it's cool to see. It's, uh, <laughs> it's really just like a whole, a whole new world of, of DAs recently. But yeah, it's it's been like it's a new fresh thing almost. Let's go Marowak. We have to go there. Marowak. Uh, I very much do have the charm now. Good. You very much have it. That's good. Good to hear. <laughs> uh, entire family is sick tonight. Loving the vibes in the house. Uh, at least here is nice and chill. Yeah. We're trying to keep it chill and not sick. <laughs> Hopefully everybody's feeling better soon. Hmm. 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 What really entices you about Ditto that it's your favorite? He's just a friend. I don't really know how to describe it more than that. He's just absolutely built like a friend. He's just got a stupid little face. And I love it. And he's just, he a blob. <laughs> uh, respect Martin for sticking to his ideals and using a cosmic power no matter what I don't know what this is in reference to you do your thing Martin 
<clears throat> hmm. A lot of Pokemon that could very much be your favorite along with having a dumb face. I just... He was the first with a with an extra dumb face and being a blob. He was the first to do it and best to do it. He's just a cool guy. I like Slowpoke as well. Same reason. Kind of just a, a unit, very friend-shaped, stupid face. <clears throat> Love all the happy round Pokemon. Exactly. I'm telling you. <laughs> I have a specific, like, favorite build of a Pokemon. With Sword and Shield AI. Oh, I got you. Uh, they are different, aren't they? Like, the way that they... We smoked that poor thing. <laughs> and another Cubone doomed to repeat the cycle <laughs> is what we have just pushed through the pipes here. This is now a thing. The cycle continues. <laughs> I have a soft spot for Badoo. Again, round, friend-shaped, just a, a little guy. Yeah. I <laughs> uh, have a membership to... To what? To what? I don't know who that is, but um, if you aren't able to buy a membership, do not stress it, guys. I promise you, I'm not like not stressing any of that. I appreciate anybody who uh, decides to get the membership and has the means. Like, I appreciate you supporting. But if you aren't able to, just make sure you're opted in because we have people gifting memberships all the time. If you want to get access to the emotes. That is the second best option for you. Guys, I really don't need a shiny Bufalant. I'm going to go Haunter here. Because we will smoke this thing. Uh, it either took a year for Sir Shickard to gather the seven Dragon Balls, or he found the Ethereal Wishing Bear. The Ethereal Wishing Bear. I will say, Sir Shicker really did get his wish, one way or another. However it happened, DAs have been popping. <laughs> Lisa, welcome in. Have a very cute and round boy as my favorite, Tyranitar. I mean, Titar is pretty cool. <laughs> He's also another of my favorite. I'm telling you, I can't just pick like one, even two. Like, there's just too many Pogemans I like. I, I don't think I've ever done like a... Pokemon tier list in general thing or like maybe favorites there was that one thing that was going around for a bit that was like favorite Pokemon by type by generation and it was like a big chart of everything I feel like maybe I should go through that again at some point because I never actually finished that it was hard <laughs> it was hard to pick let me know when you want to do Heatran uh, Sir Shaker if you're down we can do it after this I'll run it afterwards. Uh, that wishing bear joke is maybe known to a few here. Somebody let me know. Cartridges for Nintendo Switch are good, but lack something important that 3DS and past Nintendo cartridges were able to do. 3DS and past Nintendo cartridges were able to save on the cartridges, yeah. Yeah, honestly, I wish it was still like that because there's like no way to back anything up on the Switch for Pokemon saves. It's crazy. I have thousands of hours in these games. We talk about this all the time. <laughs> um, hot or cold take? I like the Digimon Volcanion. It is Digimon-like, isn't it? <laughs> Munchlax may be your favorite. I get it. Again, similar vibes. Just kind of a little idiot, round in his own way. <laughs> um, it's a good time when we all play together. I'm telling you, the DAs are a great thing for the community, for shinies, like just all around. It's good because I can chat a lot because it's like I I put in a couple of attacks and then we then we chat. It's easy for me to look away from. Doing Scarlet and Violet shiny hunts, it was tough to monitor chat when it was like really hectic. I was just missing stuff all the time. I know I was. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to catch this in a Premiere Ball just because I'll probably evolve it 
if I get it, because I think I have one of these already. Console only saves with no cloud backups is dumb. It is indeed, Moon. They There's really no reason, because the people who want to clone still clone. And I've said this every time we talked about this, this system where they don't allow people to back up their save because they're worried they're going to clone things, it only hurts the people who play legitimately and doesn't hurt the people who don't at all. <laughs> so like, I don't get it, dude. I'll never get it. They just, they're such boomers on some of their technological approaches. Can you host a guillotine in the chat? Yeah, sure. Feel free to post up codes, guys. I do not mind you guys posting DA codes. The only rule about that, please do not have a bunch of like team communication in the chat because it is very confusing for me. That's the only rule. If you guys need to chat back and forth, use the, uh, the DA channel in uh, the Discord. But otherwise, just post a code in the chat. Get some homies. A at least the people in the chat, you know that they're not complete idiots like the NPCs because <laughs> those NPCs they are not the brightest little homies I will say they're they got some issues <laughs> uh, cloning and genning is still happening it only hurts regular folks exactly it's and thousands of hours it's crazy not having any way to back up this much time you spend on this so every shiny i get now it just goes straight to home like i can't risk losing it you know but the thing that sucks about home is i think home would be a lot better if you could access it directly from the game if it was like you could go to a pc and then access all of the home stuff within the game i think that would make it like 10 times better because having to go out Go into home, it takes forever to load, make whatever adjustment you want, close out, it takes forever to save. Like, it's just, it's a long process. <laughs> the never-ending quest for all shiny mythic mythicals in 2024 continues. Z, you're gonna, you're gonna make it happen. You're making pretty good progress, I will say. What was your last shiny legendary? Uh, it was Entei. Yeah, we got Entei the other day. Raikou's my favorite of the trio. It's it's tough for me. I don't know which one is my favorite. They're all really good. <laughs> Love the chill vibe, relieved face. Who's your fave evolution? Sarah, I appreciate the two dollar redos, and I'm glad you dig the vibes. Um, my favorite evolution is Jolteon. But my favorite shiny evolution is Umbreon. So yeah. Jolteon is like an okay shiny. It's not amazing. But Jolteon is my favorite just regular evolution. Leafeon's pretty good too. They're all pretty close for me. I feel like it's kind of like the same with the with the legendary beasts, right? Who's your favorite legendary? I It's tough to answer this. I really like Latios and Latias. Ray Ray's really good. What else? There's a lot of good stuff. I really like Zapdos. All the Gen 2 birds. All of the Gen 2 legendaries are amazing. It, it's so tough to pick one. <laughs> uh, really love the Gen 2 Eevees, yeah. Have you ever played Colosseum? You start with an Espeon and an Umbreon, which is kind of cool. All right, here we go. Big money. Uh, Sir Shaker, if you're ready, we'll uh, we'll do a heat train after this. One time, an NPC had their uh, their Nihilego Ditto use a brutal swing, which caused me to lose. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are not geniuses a lot of times. They are. There's something else. I don't know what they were thinking with that. With that. Uh, <laughs> the NPC logic. The AI. Suicune's my personal favorite. It is very good. I Like, I can't fault anybody for any of their, like, legendary beast picks. 
because they all have things I really like about them. Uh, Jacob, welcome in. All right, here we go. This is our ninth and 10th DA since the last shiny. HC, you are in fact visible. Uh, no Crustle. No Marowak. No Haunter. I had to look at the tongue. No Raikou. I... <laughs> I was just looking extra close this time. My screen is looking weird. I feel like I'm going to need some monitors soon. They're kind of old. Next run, call me. Go again. Uh, next run. Okay, so you're not able to do heat train you're saying what do, what do we want to run we could do a blissephalon hassan hassan what are you doing buddy you want to do a blissephalon you want to get this thing yeah oh hassan raise if hassan isn't here i will run azernius i'm down yeah, it's tough. It's tough picking a favorite Pokemon. I I mean, like Ditto is just my immediate answer, but there's a lot that I really like. Oh, Hassani, he's not here. Raise, let's make this happen. <laughs> here we go. We'll do Azernius. Necrozma is terrifying. Uh, I have only done I think one. Blood not Placephalon. One Necrozma ever, I think. <laughs> All right, hold on, guys. Hi. Uh, I need to get a code going. Guys, we're going to do a Xerneas, but let me raise his host in it. Oh, God, the code isn't... <laughs> oh, God. We had chats. All right, I got it. I am searching, raise. And it worked out. This is fantastic. All right, guys. The code 8888-3344 for Xerneas. We need one more. Poison Steel. That's it. <clears throat> Colin got in here. This would be one I would really like to get, like, under, under odds. Lisa. Uh, to join exclamation how to da if you've never joined a da before that'll show you like where you need to go what you need to do uh hexer i already have ente <laughs> which i'm happy about but i'm sorry I, I know that you're looking for it but your boy already has it dude we got a squad take that double aid we got this we just need to take the easy path what a squad. <laughs> Making a sandwich right now and it looks so good. IRL not in game. I like that we have to... We have to say that. <laughs> it's like this is a real sandwich. No Herba Mystica. Okay, I don't think we need to go Weezing or Roselia here. I think I'm going to go right. Because I think it's going to be easier than that Weezing. Weezing has a million HP. And I just don't want to deal with that. And then if we really need one more attacker, we can go to, um... Maybe I... There's two Weezings on this map. That other Weezing kind of sucks because we can't do any, like, stat down stuff to the Xerneas. Hmm. Um. <laughs> I don't even... Uh, legit still have PTSD from that snake. From what? The... The snake. The... Zygarde? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> um, do you have the white snake yet? I do, in fact. Yeah, we got it real quick. It was, uh... Well, maybe not real quick. It was like 80-something. I got that off stream, though. How did I miss that? Miss what? <laughs> I'm catching up on chat, guys. Uh, I don't have Nintendo Online to avoid hackmons. I mean, you don't have to trade. If <laughs> if you want to have Nintendo Online just for the multiplayer stuff like DAs, I, I still think it's worth it. But, you know, we all have different financial situations. 
Mm -hmm. You're still looking for the shiny Zai guy. I don't know how many people are still running Zygarde in the Discord, but we had a lot of... Um, a lot of people running Zygarde for a while. <laughs> and then a lot of people got it. So I'm not really sure where it where it lands. Uh needed the Zy guy as well. So we got we got people looking still. There's someone running a god path. I don't know. D is anybody running a god path in the Discord anymore for Zygarde cuz I know we had a few of them. Like a few people running them. Just made me realize that I'm still paying for online and I haven't played online in months. <laughs> yeah, probably don't pay for it if you're not actually using it. Um, but you know, it, it's cool to have and the virtual console stuff isn't the worst. I don't personally play it a ton, but like, it's okay. Might consider setting up a Moltres Dynamax adventure on the server. Um, yeah. I actually don't have any of the legendary birds in this game yet. But I got them in Let's Go, so... Yeah, I haven't been rushing to get those. Um, this will be a heal ball, I think. Got his eye guard rate. You love to see it. It's a good shiny. It's... It's tough. It's, it's not a fun one with the NPCs. Missed you calling my name? Uh, Hassan, it's all good. I figured you were doing something else. Playing the new Prince of Persia game. There's a new Prince of Persia game? How new is this game? I feel like I haven't heard anything... <laughs> anything Prince of Persia for a hot minute. Um... Yeah, we don't need this. It's fine. Um I may lose this. What are you what are you running right now? Released not long ago. I seriously, I don't know why I didn't hear anything about uh Prince of Persia. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Um <laughs> Yeah. It was something that I used to like a lot. I feel like they haven't had... They had, like, kind of a revamp of Prince of Persia a long time ago. Like, in mid-early 2000... Like, 2010-ish, they had one. And then, um... That was that, right? Like, they haven't really had anything since then. Where do I put that thing you told me? Uh, I really need to know how to join. Exclamation how to DA, you just type it into the chat. No spaces, nothing like that. And the bot will will send a link for a, a video that I made on how to join. It's a little old, but like it, it's still valid. <laughs> little old, but what can you do? I don't think we have anything super effective on this lad, so I think I'm just gonna helping hand the big boy. Sands of time it was fire. It was cool. It had a cool, like, vibe to it. The time rewind was a really fun mechanic, too. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. That's the uh, the video on how to join it. Not hot to DA. <laughs> Somehow pulled a muscle doing DAs. It's, uh, it's hard work. <laughs> Uh, what DA is next, our lord? What DA is next, me lord? Uh, we're gonna do a Heatran with, uh, Sir Shicker next. What are you drinking? That is water. Which all of you should be drinking as well. Staying hydrated. Water. <laughs> uh, Pokemon finally dropped the Pokemon for the new Legend ZA game coming out. Mmm... It's on the official Pokemon Twitter. I don't think I believe that. <laughs> I don't buy it. Somebody fact check this. Yeah, water. It's water. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, Can I join? I've been trying to get in, but with no luck. 
Yeah, it's just kind of first come first serve. It's kind of hard to to hold it. If somebody's hosting something, that's usually a little bit easier. But uh, yeah, kind of is what it is. You just got to be locked and loaded at the the code entry screen right when I'm ending the other one. Kind of ready to go. Uh, besides Nintendo, I think no other console or PC game has had a trade mechanic in-game or online. I mean, there's lots of MMOs that have, like, uh, like auction houses and stuff. And trading between characters and stuff. Yeah. I There's definitely been some, like, online trading stuff. There's a... What's it called? What's that space one? It's like spreadsheets in space... Uh, oh, I can't remember what it is, but it's like basically entirely trading. God, I'm this is gonna kill me. It's like kind of an old space game where you would buy spaceships and upgrades and stuff. Oh, this is gonna kill me, guys. <laughs> if if you know this very vague topic I'm top talking about, it's a PC game. Is that wooden play button on your Twitter real? It is, in fact, very real. <laughs> Made by a friend of the channel. Do we go wheezing? I think we do. We don't have anything trying to lower stats. Yeah, no, it's back here. <clears throat> it's made by Colin. The homie. <laughs> the woodworking friends. I'm telling you, like I said, we have so many creative people in the chat it is insanity <laughs> um yeah it's uh it's a thing <laughs> yeah i'm just scrolling back looking at the uh looking at the the progress of it uh it's really cool guys i don't know <laughs> hey that's me yeah <laughs> we have a lot of people sending in cool stuff and I'm telling you woodworking crocheting we've had some crazy like just artwork stuff in the chat or in the like discord from all kinds of different people it is insanity the the level of creativity and just <laughs> yeah I'm always surprised because your boy definitely ain't at that level <laughs> Um, check their official Twitter, and they did not show any Pokemon for PLZA. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> uh, it's their newest post about Legend ZA game. They showed the three starters. Hmm. 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 Still don't buy it. I don't know what to tell you. It sounds like not a thing. I'm going to look up Pokemon on my own. And then they go, you idiot. You got trolled. Yeah, there's nothing here, dude. Last post seven hours ago, and it's a, a Sprigatito and a Lechonk running around. Don't you be lying to me. Playing games with my heart. Um, Every hour is appreciation hour here. It is indeed. <laughs> checks the date not april 1st uh yeah absolute scam it's the life we live what can you do get pranked idiot <laughs> um hmm, hmm. uh was fully prepared to hype you up but then message two came in and i chuckled rapidly chuckled rapidly <laughs> Sprigatito and Lechonk are the new starters oh, alright so we're reading between the lines here am I going to take this for clear smog? I don't know that it's worth it and maybe it's better than Politoed still yeah I guess I'm going to grab it hmm uh, my arms were killing because the cold months, it's finally warming up so I can draw more shinies. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really get cold here. Not like cold, cold. 
Mm. <laughs> Nick, welcome in. Here we go. We've lost to this a few times. He's kind of tough. Hmm. Can host Zygarde or Giratina if you want to join. Yeah. Yeah, post a code up in the chat. I know some people are waiting around. It's usually better to try to post it right after I start a DA. That's a, a hot tip from Calm. Because a lot of people are trying to get in on these, the ones on stream. And if you start it right at the end of one of mine, people might just want to wait to try to get in on the one on stream. So your best bet is to try to host it right after I host mine and, you know, you don't get in or whatever. Hot tip. <laughs> uh, I think we're due for another cold snap here starting tomorrow. Technica making the the bold claims. I will tell you anything cold cold is not actually cold here. It's just like kind of nice usually. Which, that's the reason I live here. I'm a fan. I don't want it to be cold cold. Shiny check time. Hopefully I get a shiny gelatin. Good luck. Does that work even with... Huh. So you just can't lower the stats of somebody with the Misty Terrain. For some reason, I thought it stopped all stat changes. Love the beard. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I'm a I want cold person. See, I want cold, but no snow, no freezing. I'm down with like the... 50 degree like sweater weather i don't want to be in a parka though i don't want to have to live that kind of life i just want it to be cool enough that i can wear like long long sleeve stuff sweaters stuff like that i don't want to go too far down that rabbit hole you know question luna what's up joel have you seen the new fallout show it's sweet I have not seen any of the new Fallout show, although I have had a lot of people talking about it in here. I've never played a Fallout game. Or never, like, played it through. I started Fallout 4 and New Vegas and only played, like, just a tiny bit because it was at, like, a friend's house. And that was it. I never actually owned it, so I never played through it. Uh, past few days, it's been near 90 degrees and I hate it. Uh, Panna, this is at night, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's getting tough here. Washington has the perfect weather. It just gets too hot in the summer. And it's raining all the time, right? Oh my god, are we gonna lose this? Ugh. Heat is stanky. I'll take cold any day. Yeah. Great thing is you don't have to play to enjoy. Yeah. No, well, I mean, I guess I get that it uh, it would make sense, right? Like, it's just a, a kind of post-apocalyptic world. It makes sense that it would work just on its own. We didn't lose. Fantastic. All right, here we go. We are going Premier Ball. This is DA 11 and 12 since the last shiny. Um, I've typed it like 10 times. Let's try tomorrow. HC, what are you typing 10 times? I literally haven't seen... Oh. <laughs> HC, I see you talking. You know what? You guys might want to make sure that you are in... Um, Live chat, not top Story chat. Story is different from games. Story is different from games. Interesting. So it's a whole different deal. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, guys. Da eleven and twelve since the last shiny. No poltergeist. No basculin. I think that one on the left is kind of weird looking. No wheezing. I'll be right back. I gotta hit the restroom. Don't go anywhere. 30 seconds.
your boy is back. All right. Um, gonna take a sip. <laughs> the anticipation. I'm telling you. Here we go. Um, you were gone long enough to actually wash your hands this time. I always wash my hands. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm going quick. I let the air when I'm Naruto running back to my stream room. It dries my hands. We're really efficient here. Oh, you got Galarian wheezing. Very nice. I, you know, I didn't get the Galarian wheezing, but I think we could make do with this. I think that maybe this is fine. I guess I'll take this. <laughs> I guess, dude. I mean, okay. <laughs> I don't know what our luck is recently. What is the deal? <laughs> We've been killing it. This is under odds, too. 12 is, is not, not too much. The bathroom reset is insane. This is the first time we got it after the, uh, the bathroom wait. <laughs> yeah this is a good shiny we need to see this out in a battle because it obviously is like very different looking i'm gonna take it on both games just so this will be out of my uh out of my list here we go big money future short yeah perhaps <laughs> this definitely fits the uh criteria here give me your shiny luck bro no i ain't sharing <laughs> This is for me, dude. <laughs> All right, here we go. Heck you, to be honest, Ray's. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go check this thing out in the wild. Pretty, but I wish we could do a Heatran. We are going to do a Heatran. Do I? Oh my God, dude. This game has been popping off. Okay, these. so this one found the Entei recently. And the Xerneas and a, a Starmie in between, but we won't talk about that too much. Let's go check this out in a battle. Here we go. Uh, st still need to clip the Poke Rap bits. I know it's tough. I was like kind of trying to go through it. If you guys, by the way, if you ever have something that you think should be a short, YouTube has a clip function now, and um, I would appreciate it. If you would clip it and post it in the Discord. I have roles for people who submit clips and stuff. And that is a really cool way for me to know like what people are down with seeing a short of. And what people think is like a, a good moment. Because when I'm here just being the guy on stream, it's kind of hard to always know what is going to be like the haha -ha funny moment for a short. You guys know better. So if something makes you chuckle rapidly... Congrats on the dear front facing baby chick front facing baby Thumbs, chick I appreciate front you. facing baby chick front mm -hmm. facing baby chick front facing baby chick I appreciate you buddy and I can't believe our luck recently I don't know dude I have no idea we didn't look at it in the uh how fast is it he's he's pretty quick Let's try to run away see how quick he actually is All right he's not the fastest but he makes it up by being a, a pretty fella. <laughs> All right. Um, let's get Xerneas on the board. Because I always forget to do this. So let me just quickly get the homie on the board. Gen 6. Man, I scrolled like exactly right to that. What a, what a pretty shiny. There he goes. Um, this today we found a shiny Wooloo, just a random encounter Wooloo today as well. So I don't know. The shiny luck has just been insane. <laughs> we'll do a couple more checks. It's nice to see the sparkles, and a plus, I really am hoping one of these days we get a shiny encounter out here. <laughs> That'd really add to the short. Shiny Xerneas is so good, I know. And this is the final... I didn't think about this. This is the final X and Y shiny that we needed for the um, 
is it the final of all of them? Because I have Eveltal, I have Zygarde, and now we have the Xerneas. Are there any other legendaries in X and Y besides the box legendaries? Is this it? I think it is. <laughs> you need another Zygarde for the forms. I, right, Colin, I don't even want to think about that. Um, I've asked this every time Zygarde has come up. Can you get a Zygarde shiny from um, Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon? You can do those in the wormholes, right? Because I think I might just do a soft reset hunt for that. Because I think you can't get the the power construct, right? But you could still get the doggo form, right? No, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't want to do more DAs for it. <laughs> All right, we're going to do one more encounter. I want it to be something good, though. I want it to be an Aurorus. Because I still want to get a shiny of that thing. I don't really want a Jinx. All right, we'll check Jinx. Wulu, my child. Um, yeah. Shiny Wulu is really good, too. Zygarde is his own encounter and is shiny locked. They make it so difficult for your boy. Yeah, gets his own fun cave. <laughs> I don't know if I love the term fun cave, but I, I get what you're saying. He's got his own deal going on. All right, let's get back to it. Why make getting this snake easy? I mean, it does make getting shiny Zygarde in DAs and anywhere else just feel that much more like... Oh, I guess we should probably look at the uh, nature here, too, if anybody wants to do a nature guess. I don't know what the deal is, guys. Uh, I have no clue, but we take those every day of the week. Can you please acknowledge the fact that you blessed me with a shiny Cantonian sand slash? Uh, you have been acknowledged, and I'm glad you got it. <laughs> a lot of braves in the chat. All right, let's see. Minus special attack plus speed. What is that? Timid. Right? Jo uh, jolly, sorry. Jolly. <laughs> yeah, that's the physical attacking one. Jolly. Timid is the minus attack plus special attack. It's jolly. Did anybody say jolly? I don't see jolly in the chat. <laughs> Sir Shicker says it after the fact. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody said jolly. He looks like a jolly little fellow to me. I see it. All right. Let's get moving. Um, Sir Shicker, you ready for a heat train? We're finally going to get the back to back shiny. I'm excited. Guys, do we need a new like ol? I see people posting. You're bad at nature's? Yeah, well, it is what it is. Uh, we do need a new Lycol. I will pin that up. Inquisitor, you got it. I appreciate you guys liking the stream. If you haven't liked the stream yet, just think about it. Help your boy out on the algorithm. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Sir Shicker sent me a code. He even, <laughs> even gave me the types to look for. What a guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to close this for a second. This is a difficult to enter code is the only problem here. But it is a code. Guys, get ready to enter this if you want to join in for Heatran on stream. We got old 69 here. <laughs> All right, guys, the code 69690420 for Heatran. And I'm going to look at the list that Sir Shicker sent me. Water, fighting, and four times weak to ground. So ground is what we are looking for here. It'd be pretty cool to get it. I'm just saying. <laughs> Blessed name, I would agree. Oh, God. This is not it. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to take ice just because it'll be good against, like, the ground types that we're going to be looking for here. Yeah, it, it sure is a code, isn't it? 
<laughs> Finally got my shiny alpha chat hot more burbs for me. You'll love to see it. Um, it's not a bad shiny either. It's just a little fella, but it's a, a good shiny. Very different. <coughs> Think I finally got the little pup to start eating consistently. Very nice. Uh, Pseudo Wudo definitely has a ground move. Uh, that's about all we're going to get. And then we get a Drapion at the end, I guess. Eh, let's just go left, I guess. Get the Gold Duck as well. It only has Aqua Jet, though, which is not great. <laughs> is this thing, like, difficult? I don't know if this is a tough fight, but Pseudo Wudo's got... It, like, resists the Heatran stuff and has the, the big damage ground attack. Two Ice Types, that's great for Zygarde. Yeah, you need Wide Guard for Zygarde, though. He plays no games. <laughs> Uh, Mossy Ranger, I hope everything's going well on your side as well. Dia is hosting a Lugia. Guys, if you're wanting to get shiny Lugia, your boy doesn't need it anymore, but I know a lot of the homies still do. So the code's in the chat. Feel free to pop in there, guys, because it's going to take a hot minute for me to finish this DA anyways. Um, Sudowoodo just need that squirt bottle. He's already awake. He's angry in the dungeon. Um, Just want to go for a shiny Heatran. Is that the only thing you're looking for? Is Heatran? Do you need the path for it? Or do you already have it? Wide guard for Zygarde. What a rhyme, I know. I am a rapper. Golduck almost ended my entire run because I have Talonflame and it killed it twice. Aqua Jet, no joke against little fragile Talonflame. <laughs> um, have the path for it, but no one is joining that or Oxy. You're in the Discord, right? I mean, I, right now, unfortunately, it's just kind of is what it is, but... During the uh, the day when I'm not streaming, I feel like it's easier to find people for random DAs like that. So make sure you're trying that over there as well, maybe during the day. But guys, if you are looking for an Uxi or a Heatran, uh, Princess Arya is your person in the chat. Uh, get in on some DAs, guys. I know we got a lot of people waiting, trying to do these DAs and get shinies. Don't just wait for me, because <laughs> you might not get in. Don't even have Discord. Oh, I got you. Um, well, I would recommend it for the, the Discord DA channel alone. It is a good time, just if you're not, like, crazy opposed to it. But, you know, got to make your own deal on that. What an absolute doof that is me. That's what I do. <laughs> Uh, NPC did so much damage. Hoomst. Hoomst. Talonflame's amazing. Like Kilowattril, I did an all-burb shiny team in Scarlet. I really liked Kilowattril. I also had that in my team in Scarlet in my, like, initial playthrough. Uh, trying to get a shiny Groudon. That is not a very easy one. Good luck on that. I do still need Groudon as well. So... You know, we probably will be running Groudon at some point on stream. I'm not sure when I'll have it in my saved list, though, because it is definitely a tough one. <laughs> uh, you running the the Guabo Babo? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Can you help? Uh, God Gamer, I wouldn't mind running a uh, Groudon tonight. I mean... Yeah, I can't really just run a bunch of them back to back to back, but uh, I wouldn't mind running one tonight. I'm down. I'm down to give it a shot. Uh, doing a Kyurem raid, and we have a Santa Scorch up against a Marsh Tomp. Yeah, he doesn't really have anything against old Marsh Tomp, does he? <laughs> Not having a good time. That's where Calm gets the luck. He steals it from his loyal mods. <laughs> you signed in blood. That's how it works. 
you guys made the deal for the wrench. <laughs> Take Screech. Yeah, no. We, uh, we got it. My ice cream cone is still in danger here, but it's fine. Marsh Stomp is burnt and confused, though. Yeah, you, you got this. Have no concerns at all. Calm st stole my luck long ago, but you made a new save. You're on 69 now. I only took it from, uh, from Batnut. <laughs> it was Batnut, right? <laughs> um, are the helpers entitled to dental? Mm -mm. No, we, uh, we don't do any of that here. Not at Calm and Collecting Industries. Not how we, not how we do. <laughs> Good old Batnut. Yeah, we stole Batnut's luck. <clears throat> Guabo Babo is text for Heatran's cry. Is that what they put it as in the game? Because it doesn't sound anything like that. <laughs> Heatran's cry is like a. <laughs> <laughs> that is not Guabo Babo. I don't know how I would spell that. Not Guabo Babo, though. They really, the text to speech on some of the Pokemon cries are wild. I don't know what they were thinking. Dodo Goon for, uh, for Arcus. I remember that one. <laughs> Just reminded of how annoying DAs can be. Uh, yeah, it's, it's tough sometimes to get the, uh, right squad. The right Pokemans. It, a lot of things have to come together. And they're slow sometimes too. It's it's rough. That's why I do the dual hunts. It uh, it helps get through them pretty quick. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Use fire moves on Pseudo Wudo. Get pranked. <laughs> you got got by old Pseudo Wudo. Supremely over odds at 5,400 for Poipole. Um, I wouldn't call that supremely over odds. You're a bit over odds. You'll get it soon. Don't lose hope. Soon. Soon. Uh, I enjoy Giratina's Gia 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 Whoa. <laughs> that was just me trying to read it right off the cuff. He says, Gia, Gia, whoa. <laughs> Love it when Petrunt said, peh, peh. Is that all he said? Is that all the text-to-speech? I mean, you know what? I'm down with it, I guess. <laughs> um, <clears throat> You think I'm a tree? Surprise, nerd. I'm a rock with a face. That always just reminds me of the... Uh... Do we go middle i'm gonna go we demolished data i think i i'm gonna go drapion i think um that always reminds me of the geo dude in the cave and it's like geo dude sits in the cave <laughs> is how how does this go i don't want to mess this up is cave made of geo dude is cave made of flesh how does it go, guys? <laughs> it's it's basically is is he living in a cave of his own flesh? <laughs> this I must sound like a serial killer right now. <laughs> I must sound insane. I'm just gonna stop pretending like I know things. Is the cave made of flesh or is Geodude made of caves? There it is. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's something. Is the cave made of flesh or is Geodude made of cave? He screams for he does not know. It's a very good comic. It's a good time. When the brain cells try to multiply, it's not good. We know that they're just, they're dead. <laughs> There's no chance. Yeah. It's tough. He screams for he does not know. <laughs> um, 
into a fleshing cave. Fleshing? I don't like that. <laughs> Not a fan. <laughs> um, Z is under arrest. Is is that a word? Is that like a bad word? I've never heard Z say a bad word in my life. I don't buy it. <laughs> The Bronzong is trying to ruin us. That's how it goes sometimes. The really chunky Pokemon are usually the most annoying ones in these these DAs. They live forever. <laughs> to make fleshy. Is that actually like a, a bad word? I've never heard of that being a thing in my life. Although we've really found some weird ones with the the urban dictionary stuff i don't really buy that all of them are actually bad <laughs> um maybe i'm in jail raises in jail you gotta get out of jail free card you sent it to me though you get one free extremely loud taco bell ringing effect not extremely loud it's just the normal, normal volume. It was me all along, said Ray's. What did you say? I don't see it. <laughs> I do not see it. But you know what? We're going to move right along. Um. Oh, no. R. Jonesy says the FBI are at their house. Well, what can you do? I appreciate you taking one for the team here. And figuring out which one was the incorrect word. You found the secret word. <laughs> um, consisting of flesh. Yeah, sounds sounds right. Sounds like what I would think that word would mean. Lisa, you subscribed. I appreciate it. Glad you dig the vibes. This is just Pokeball, I think. He just kind of read. Um, maybe I am the Bronzong. Maybe the Bronzong was the friends we made along the way. You ever think of that? Just got a shiny Gligar. Very nice. Yeah, not a bad shiny at all. Um, That Drapion does nothing for our squad. I think I'm just going to keep Mr. Mime and we're going to helping hand with him. The Drapion was just so we can move on to the boss. Isn't Geodude just a pet rock? I mean, in Pokemon universe, even more so. <laughs> um, Swap Calm, you're weak to Iron Head. Nah, nah. Helping hand, dude. I'm fine. This is fine. Um, one must imagine a Sisyphus... Happy while pushing a Geodude through a cave. No. It's gotta be like a golem, right? Like, it's gotta be larger than a Geodude. Uh, screen up first. Nope. Damage only. We're going in. Look at, see, he's, he's going for all these little fancy moves. We're going for big damage. The screech is good, though. The screech, screech is good watch oh my god the mad lad this is gonna confuse too <laughs> see we don't need a screen here we go dead okay next turn dead dane welcome in calm going rogue that's the only way i operate okay well machoke you hate to see it i don't know that a screen would have helped here just to be clear uh, let's just go big damage this turn. Big, big damage. I'm just helping hand him, dude. More damage. That's the name of the game. If he transshines, this time we name him Guobo. Guobobo. 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 <laughs> uh, leave it to Calm to make bad plays work out. I'm... I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, if you haven't learned yet, your boy 
I got the, the ideas, the plans. We had Suda Wuda. We knew we were winning. The, the friend of the channel. Here helping us out. <laughs> what ball do I catch this in, though? Repeat? I feel like repeat kind of works for this because he's got, like, the... The orbs on him. I'm going repeat. Uh, still on the quest for the 109% decks in Brilliant Diamond. Good luck. 109%? <laughs> Luxury all day. We went repeat. Repeat is a very ugly Pokeball, though. I feel like it doesn't work many times. Love how you say friend of the channel like the channel is its own sentient being. It is. It is. <laughs> All right, guys. I didn't reset the counter. This is DA 1 and 2 since our last shiny. We got a shiny Xerneas last DA. No Golduck. No Sudowoodo. No Drapion, I think. I'm still not positive I'd be able to see that. Would I be able to tell if Heatran was shiny? I, I don't know if I would be able to tell. Yes, yes. The people say yes. Drapion turns more reddish. I know that it turns reddish, but in this game, it is like very difficult to see the change. We had such a good run. Such a good time without any disconnects. We should be back up, guys. Make sure to tell people to refresh if they're still saying they're having issues. You hate to see it, but what can you do, right? We're back. YouTube has really been bullying us. It's just been so much of this recently. Whoops, I keep picking Tapu lately. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Almost done with Groudon. I just oh god i'll just let you guys know if we ever want to do a certain da i will not wait <laughs> i'm not waiting around on stream if you want to host something you gotta be at the ready when i'm out of here i appreciate you guys but it's just got too many legendaries to catch can't be sitting around here we go uh we're gonna do a ho-oh if you're in the last one please don't join back to back the code 8888 Five five two two for Ho O. -Oh. Looking for rock, electric, water. YouTube just wanted to show us ads one more time. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> That's what they're doing. That's their scheme. Uh, ten seconds of calmless agony. You hate to see it. I uh, think you're crazy for it, but almost got the Gen Three section finished. Um, yeah, you are crazy, <laughs> but you know what? So am I. We're, we're all crazy in our own special way. Did my games disconnect? Cause I'm not getting anybody connecting right now. Hold on. Let me just make sure the games are good. Oh my God. What's happening here? Mm -hmm. It says it's online. Yeah. I'm going to disconnect just to make sure. Yeah. I, I wish I could control whether or not the ads happened at all. But it's just basically like, do you want to accept donations and money and everything on stream? Okay, ads and everything are on then. <laughs> Which is... <laughs> An interesting way to do it, but you know what? Is what it is. I do appreciate you guys watching the old Domino's ad occasionally. Because it does it give the channel a little something-something. <laughs> uh, been my dream as a teen to have it done in Gen 4 back in the day. I mean, I get it. My first living decks that I ever wanted to do was in Gen 3. So, guys, the code for ho o eight 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 five five. 6-6. Six, six. ho oh. If you're on the last one, please don't join back-to-back. -back. Everybody else, get in here. Rock, electric, water. 
That is the name of the game. Hmm. There we go. Made it happen. All right. I would like to get this bird. This would be the last of the box legendaries for Gen 2 at least. Yeah, we'll take Seeking. Why not? Nice Xerneas you got there, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> we had some very good luck recently with DAs, I'm telling you. Uh, you owe me one. Hopefully, you get yourself a, uh, a shiny burb. I'd be down. This shiny charm really works. It does, in fact. Okay, that Magneton's not great for us. Oh, there's a Lycan Rock over there. We gotta go there. Yeah, we'll go Lycan Rock. I don't know what that normal type is there. I can't really see it. Oh, Cinchino. I'm Jelly. That one shiny alpha I really want. No luck yet. Um, What is the one shiny alpha that you really want? What am I missing here? I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, hope you're having a good night. Good luck on the Ho-Oh, Kenny. I appreciate it. We got a shiny Xerneas a couple DAs ago. So, uh, you know, uh, I'm not sure where we're going to get to tonight, but I will hold out some hope. We keep trying our best. <clears throat> Wouldn't be mad about a Lycanroc. Yeah, no, it's good. He's a, a cool lad. A nice shiny werewolf. Oh, Shiny Alpha Electivire? Yeah. It took a while for me. I was pretty over odds on it. I was doing soft resets for it, and I think I got it at like 1,600, or maybe it was like 1,200 or something, which I know isn't that many resets, but um, the odds were 1 in 585, so, <laughs> so I was like over double odds. Popping off at the very least. I'm telling you, Kenny, it has been crazy. We got an Entei the other night, and we got a Kyurem and a Lugia in the same stream one night. So I've, there's a chance we get another one tonight. Who knows? Let's see how the luck is. Got one randomly. You got a Shiny Alpha Electivire randomly? It's cool whenever you get any Shiny Alpha randomly. We had that. The best one I've ever found randomly was Shiny Alpha Eevee. I got it in an outbreak, but it was just like... It was just the the chance for it to appear. It wasn't like boosted for it to be a um, an alpha or anything. But it was boosted for it to be shiny because of the, the outbreak. So it was a, a nice little find. It was the last Eevee I needed for my evolution line as well to get all of the evolutions in that game I'm at 45 total DAs for Lugia now have you phased at all because that is uh, quite a few DAs <laughs> cool man how you doing JK welcome in as well we got a couple people popping in uh, we just got a shiny Xerneas recently, a couple DAs ago. You got the shiny ice bear, that sucks. It's such an unfortunate one. <laughs> he is not great. Yeah, I don't need this Sinchino. If he would read one more message where he says one phase, where she says one phase... I, I didn't read the rest of it. I, I got the memo now, though. We got there. I Sir Shaker so angry. What what happened, Sir Shaker? What, what's going on here? We need to figure this out. <laughs> uh, early this week, I got both Shiny Dialga in 141 Sword DAs, level over odds, and Shiny Landorus in 102. Uh, so pretty, like, around at odds. You got a bunch of phases in between, though, right? That is a lot of DAs. Uh, you just been, like, single-playering them, I'm assuming, just blasting through them with no animations? I'm a dad now. Always mad and disappointed for no reason. Yeah. That's, that's how that goes. 
disapproving Sir Sheiker. <laughs> Four phases for Landorus, five for Dialga, and yes, solo with battle animations turned off. I just wish I could dual hunt. I, I guess I could just do them side by side and not have them be in the same DA. I don't know if I have the brain power to control two at once, though. Like, two different ones. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I got it in me. But, um, yeah, how many more legendaries do you still need? Out of, like, legendaries and Ultra Beasts and everything from DAs, JK? Because you're, like, pretty, pretty up there. I've seen you post a lot of them already. The Skuma Flanders. <laughs> Skuma Flanders isn't real. He can't hurt you. <laughs> Got it on first DA for Lugia. Legit just uh legit just sent the bear to the Shadow Realm. Um yeah, that's worth it. Although is Lugia one that you really need to have like a specific path for? Is it pretty tough? I feel like we didn't have a ton of troubles with the clears for Lugia, but it's been a couple streams. I don't necessarily super remember. Hmm. All I have left is Tornadus, Thunderous, Kurim, and Zygarde. Um, <laughs> you're saving Zygarde for last. I get it. <laughs> you did 87 solo wins over Zygarde. So you hopefully will be seeing it relatively soon once you decide to get back into it. Because that, that's still valid. Josh or Ray's, if one of you guys want to grab this, this thing's obviously really good. Uh, JK is kind of goaded with DAs. Yeah, no, it's uh, JK is kind of just the legend here, I think. My man knows how to find some shinies. Lilligant or Lorantis? We're really bad against both of these, but Lorantis is less bulky and we get berries afterwards. So I'm going to go left. Yeah, JK is the, the real hero here. The absolute legend. Hmm. All right. Just get through this nice and easy. We don't want to have any casualties here. Every single one of us is weak to this thing, which kind of sucks. Here we go. You just got to make this happen quickly. Oh, I have poison jab. Okay, I at least have some moves against this. Heard he wrote the Harold Pottery series. Good old Harold Pottery. <laughs> Um, so, any nature guesses on the Electivire? I'll go Adamant. I hope that you get a really good nature for it. Lorantis has Contrary Hidden Ability. Yeah, if this thing does a Leaf Storm, we're in serious danger. But, we're not in serious danger. We got this. Big money. Okay. Alright, alright, it's fine. We're gonna get a Freeze. Goodbye, Crawdon. Yeah, <laughs> we really, uh, this is an unfortunate end of this path. Two grass types that can just demolish us. It's modest. Oh, that's like the worst it could be. <laughs> um, yeah, either way, there's mints in that game. You don't got to stress it too much. You're a lizard, Gary. There it is. <laughs> I love ghost type, but I love Lorantis so much. Got funny pants. Yeah. Got some bell bottoms. <laughs> um, there was this thing of like Pokemon Heights that I saw recently as well. You saw that like Lucario is 311. I don't, I don't buy whoever's writing down these Pokemon Height things in the Pokedex. They're on something else, man. Because that is definitely not the case. I just poison jab again, I guess. You're a you're a, a Riz Lord Barry. <laughs> yeah, that's how I remember it. That sounds right. I think it's supposed to be based off of a Yukata or Kimono. Um, is it? Is that what Lorantis is? 
Pseudo Wudo gifted a membership. Lisa, I know you're still in here. Make sure you say thanks to old Pseudo Wudo. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, I'm a big fan of old Eric Andre. Big fan. My wife told me something the other day, and I never realized this. Eric Andre is literally just the middle letters of American Dream. Like, all in the same order. Like, <laughs> very weird to just... I, I never realized that. It just kind of came up out of nowhere. And I don't know if that's his actual name or what. It seems like a, a pretty interesting way to come up with a, uh, a, a stage name. Yeah, Eric Andre's in the middle of that. Very interesting stuff. <clears throat> uh, got... Get promoted next month. I hope the next Pokemon is good, Azdrak. Congrats on the soon-to-happen promotion. The, the close promotion. And uh, we'll see. We already got a Xerneas tonight, so I'm not going to push my luck. I hope the next one is good too, though. <laughs> Lorantis is based off of an Orchid Mantis and Mantis Orchid. Yeah, both. Um, Pomantis and Lorantis' shinies are amazing as well. Yeah, the green works, right? It works. Random question, where do you find the art of the shiny legendaries for your thumbnails? Uh, do exclamation sprites in the chat, I think. I have a link to it. This is actually, uh, the 3D models were ripped by, um, Root. And I'm pretty sure they're a mod in Baldstream. Or at least like a regular on Bald's side of things. Um, and they pushed them out for like all streamers and stuff to use. So they did a... I know this was a lot of hard work. So I really... Uh, yeah. <laughs> really appreciate all of the effort that went into all of that. Uh, we're just doing... I don't have rock moves, but you know. We're gonna live that life. Congrats on the Xerneas Seven. I appreciate it. Yeah, we've been we've been doing pretty good. How does a Pokemon avoid an attack if they're asleep? It rolled over in its sleep. There's ways. <laughs> uh, how much guac could you eat in one in one how? In one how? I don't know how many how much guac in one how I can eat. <laughs> Calm doesn't fall for the trap. Uh, once every streamer is on board, they will start charging a monthly fee. Four twenty sixty nine a month. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Tell us in how, man. I, uh, I wish I knew personally. So I, <laughs> like for my own knowledge, it would be good to know. They don't avoid the attack. You miss the attack, but it says the Pokemon avoided it is the thing. It does say avoided. Yeah, I could eat at least three house personally. Not a big guac guy, but I could probably could probably get about three house. <laughs> Calm doesn't know ML. He's American. Um oh milliliters. It's what? Who, who said milliliters? <laughs> I Okay, so I'm sorry. I was raised on freedom units. I honestly, I wish that I was raised and used the metric system. It would be very nice to just have that. I don't. <laughs> that is not the life I lived. I didn't get to make that call here, unfortunately. But yeah. So is, is that why we're measuring this in house? Um, I will donate. That is a lot of money. One billion and, you know, some extra dollars with funny numbers in there. If you get a shiny Xerneas tonight, who wants to help DB Studios run some... Dude, YouTube is just like, please, please let them donate the Billy. Because <laughs> they get 30% of that. 
<laughs> just a, a cool three hundred million dollars, right? I I had to think for a second, guys. This is our third and fourth DA since our last shiny. No Sinchino, no Lycanroc, no Lorantis. Uh. I'm so, I really have to pee again, guys. I've been drinking so much water. And it worked last time. So I'm going to try it again. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Enjoy the chair. We're back. Buffering again or just me? Uh, just you, I think. It looks like it's good. Um, all right. Here we go. Ho-oh. <laughs> It'd be cool if it happened, though, right? The two, two pee break shinies. <laughs> the chair is telling me to do things. I must obey. Uh, Skuma, I think you should listen to the call here. Depending on what the chair is telling you, of course. You have to make your, your best judgment here. <laughs> um, hmm, hmm. Um, oh, Skuma, yeah, no, definitely not that. Definitely not. Um... So, am I going to go Tapu Lele again? I think we should. It's the thumbnail hunt. Or Hassan, are you around? You want a Blacephalon? I'm offering up the Blacephalon. Otherwise, we're going Tapu Lele. Let me know. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Is that how it goes? <laughs> Why are there two Sir Shickers? Are there? I don't think there are. Hassan, Hassan, Hassan. We're trying to summon him. Um, I don't think he's here. All right. Tapu Lele. Here we go. Guys, if you were in the last one, please don't join back to back. But uh, the code for everybody else, 8888-5500 for Tapu Lele. Get in here. Shadow Slayer, if you're wanting to join the DAs, exclamation how to DA. If you don't know how to how to get there, what to do, all that stuff. Uh, I have a little video tutorial on how to do it. <clears throat> My app is messed up. I see Sir Shicker and an Ur Shicker. Yeah, I don't see that. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> um, what do we we need? Ghost, ghost, steel, poison is what we're looking for. Okay, there's another ghost. Got that shadow ball. That's not the best ghost attack, but it is at least a ghost attack. Good old Ur Shicker. That's yeah. That's that's him. <laughs> uh, talked about the secondary Sir Shicker army. No, no, we don't. We don't want that. Although he's kind of making his own. It's it's happening whether we like it or not. 
so there's not like a great path here for us. I feel like we already have a pretty decent... Yikes, I guess I'll just go left. Yeah, I don't really know what our best... Like, if we want to take anything, even. I think I might grab the scientist with Hitmonchan. When we go left, we can grab Lampant. But I don't think Lampant has a ghost move, does it? I remember it having a weird move set. Um. <laughs> Not in the dark room with a candle to summon Hassan. We, we need to do it. We need to get him this Blacephalon... One of these days, we're going to get it for the homie. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon. Uh, Cat Princess, if you're in here, please make sure to say thanks to old Pseudo Wudon. Show some love. <laughs> Sam, I see you there, waving at me and posting the buffering emotes. Ceiling Cat with another 50. Turns Dude. out, in the last 10 minutes of the last broadcast of Critical Role, I missed one of the players paying the ultimate price so that the others could survive. My computer must really hate doing its job. Man. <laughs> missed the moment during the live. That sucks. Um, well, hopefully you didn't have it spoiled for you, and you got to see it, you know, pick up. How, how long was it? It took like a couple days for him to post it. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. I am glad to hear about the uh, SDF financials, at least, though. I appreciate all of the 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 SDF's contributions. The the pre-stream one and the, the during-stream one. Guys, get some sneezles in the chat. Show some love. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the new one. This was a couple days ago. A critical Role is um, a like Dungeons and Dragons stream. It's like a very popular stream show. <laughs> uh, have a shiny ditto, Sam. A very good shiny to have. Some might say the best shiny to have. Shadow Slayer, I see you dabbing. Never hear you guys summoning me. Hassan, we were calling. Hassan, if you want to do a Blacephalon tonight, you just let me know. Uh, the the offer stands. <laughs> so the last 10 minutes on my own, but I hated waiting. Yeah, I can imagine. I would also be losing my mind. <laughs> uh, update on Giratina DA run. My fiance finally got it after two eight. Oh, God. <laughs> so you got it in like five, right? And they got it in 280. So you guys kind of balanced each other out a little bit. Did did they at least get like a bunch of phases? A bunch of cool stuff in the phases? That is a nightmare, dude. <laughs> that is unfortunate. I guess I'm going to grab it with Hitmonchan. There's I like, it doesn't really matter. Lurking and eating. Garg, enjoy. Enjoy your foodies. Just like the stream, Toasted Crumpet. I appreciate that. Appreciate you guys liking the stream, helping your boy out. The old algorithm loves it. We're going to go left. I don't know if Lampet has a ghost move, but we'll, we'll try. Brother went to bed at 2 this afternoon, like earlier today, and now I have nothing to do. Um, 2 in the afternoon going to bed. So your brother is going to be awake. In the middle of the night, it sounds like. I'm going to take this with Lycanroc. Just hope that I can get something spicy here. Enjoying Prince of Persia too much. Oh, I got you. I got you. I just wanted to throw it out there. I know you don't even want to look at this disco clown, so I get it. <laughs> Have a shiny Metagross and Greninja. Good shinies. Both very good shinies. It sounded like my cat was in here eating dog food, but the dog food isn't in here. Uh, want to see the fidelity on this Lunar 2 clone, but I'm afraid. Woot. What do these words mean? 
is a lot of words and I do not know what they mean. <laughs> the the space thing you're wanting to see how it how it looks, how the cameras are looking. <clears throat> the only Prince of Persia games I played were the old ones on DOS. Oh. Yeah, those were a very different game. But they were like pretty crazy at the time, right? Like the the animation of the just him like crawling up and like doing all the it was just a lot of frames of animation that they didn't really have like that back then pokemon is a nice vibe the colors are always great yeah super nadia celebrates 19 super months nadia, of membership you. always great to pop this stream and chill colon underscore calm sdf there you go even got the sdf shout out um <laughs> super nadia i appreciate you buddy Glad you're popping in. I know you be lurking. I appreciate you hanging out. 19 months is a lot of time. It's a lot of days. We're going to go luxury ball here. The Grandmaster was fuming too. We almost ended one of my many universes we conquered in a fit of unified rage. I mean, sometimes it needs to happen. You know? That's what they're there for, right? <laughs> Yeah, that sucks. The last 10 minutes are like just the most important ones. Um, want to play more Hearts of Iron 4? Um, Hearts of Iron. I don't think I've even heard of that game. Yeah, we're not doing this. I, I thought Lampent didn't have anything good. Didn't Assassin's Creed start as a Prince of Persia spinoff? Is that a thing? I guess I could maybe see it. Then it kind of turned into its own deal. Um, do we go Kingler? I would kind of like to get a shiny Kingler, if I'm being honest. We have two things that are good against it, and nothing that's like actively bad against it. I'm going to go right. Even though this is a little bit of a harder one, it's such a good shiny, and I would like to see him. <laughs> Lampin is awesome. That's basically my child. I just wish it had a better moveset in DAs. Have two Eternatus now. Very nice. The big uh, poison snake guy. How do you even describe Eternatus? The strange looking lad. Lead game designer for Prince of Persia had his 14 year old brother act out all of the movements. And <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome how they like kind of got around some of the technical things. Although I don't feel like that's like a weird solution, right? Like I think that's pretty valid. They I, people still do that. Animators and stuff. Um, I've seen with like the this isn't like crazy high end animation or whatever, but like the the animator, the lead animation guy for Bob's Burgers and. Uh, like they, they make a bunch of different shows but he's shown his like routine of him like recording himself doing the things that he wants to do and then he like keyframes his own movements into animations in the show to kind of make him look more believable and natural and stuff and it, it makes sense right we all have our own like perfect reference <laughs> we are the, the human thing we want to draw right totally worked yeah it was crazy back then though i mean it was insane the animation that they had with it mm -hmm. still occasionally pop into the hall of gods in hk and run poh i don't know what that is i don't know what any of these things mean <laughs> um kind of like rotoscoping yes yeah that's what uh skuma was saying basically rotoscoped it <clears throat> the first assassin's creed game was originally intended to be a prince of persia game hmm. the more you know i don't think i have had heard that before actually hollow knight shenanigans um oh so <clears throat> z tell me if i'm crazy on this I really, really liked the combat in Hollow Knight. And I... The thing that, that made it so I didn't beat that game 
was the fast travel system. I hated that I had to backtrack to go to like the the bug thing to get all over the place. And like I just found myself doing so much running back and forth that I was just like, I'm done. Like I can't, I can't, you know? And that's what ended up killing it for me. But I really like that game. I like the vibe. I like the the gameplay, like the, the battle system of it and everything. I don't, it's not like I hate the stag stallion things. I just hate that I have to run way back to a city to get to that, to be able to fast travel. So I, I have to backtrack to the stag thing and then once I go to the next area, I'm probably not where I want to be. Then I have to like go down to where I want to go. And then I finish the quest or do what I have to do. And I have to backtrack back to the stag thing, go to the other area, and then go to the new place. Like it just felt like I was doing so much running around. And I don't know if that ever gets like fixed, <laughs> but I was pretty far into the game. And I was just like, what is like man i i specifically remember the walk that i had to do it was a very long time since i saw a um a bench and i was so lost in this new area and it was such a walk back i was like well i'm done with this game <laughs> i remember when i turned it off for good did you ever play blasphemous it's amazing i have it in my steam library i think i haven't played it though and the thing is, is I'm like a running around as part of the exploration. Yeah, but like, I feel like a lot of times I'm running through the same areas. It's not exploration anymore. It's like just running through a back and forth through areas that you already know. That's what kind of gets me. The I think the way that you get the map for each area is also maybe like, because like, I didn't find the map for this area that I was really far into. So like I had no real idea how to get back to my my souls and I lost so many. <laughs> Whatever it is in Hollow Knight, I forget what they are if they're souls or not, but I've I've played like every Dark Souls, Elden Ring. I've beaten a lot of those types of games. So I'm not like not super uh <laughs> like like I don't get that losing souls is a thing. Like, I get that. But just, man, that running back was brutal. I think being able to teleport to benches would have been enough. Like how they do it in Dark Souls. And I know that game isn't Dark Souls, but like, dude, the running. The running. And you're so slow. Even when you get like the the dash. <laughs> uh, Surge, you are a bit late, but it's all good. All good. Highly recommend Blasphemous if you enjoy Dark Souls. I do, in fact. And I've seen it. I've seen, like, a lot about it. Just, uh, like, the art and some of the gameplay stuff. Have you ever seen, um... There's a new game that people were working on. I forget. It's, like, Crow... Crow Sworn? It's Crow something. And you're, like, a, a plague doctor kind of thing with a scythe. And it looks super cool. It's kind of like a mix between Blasphemous and Hollow Knight, it looks like. Looks pretty neat. You haven't experienced true gamer's end until you've raged so hard at Path of Pain, you just sit in silent anger until you beat it. I've definitely had some of those moments in different video games. <laughs> the, the poison area in Dark Souls one is the worst <laughs> nightmare of all time. <laughs> um, just binged season two of Invincible. Great show. I haven't ever watched any Invincible. I see so many like clips of it though. I feel like it's probably an interesting watch. Yeah, I think it's Crow Sworn. I can't remember what it is. Um, but there is uh, Iron Pineapple on YouTube makes some pretty interesting like uh it's like souls like dumpster diving videos and that's where i saw it first because it was kind of it was in one of those videos it kind of met the criteria call me wall me woot uh what, what's going on let's do the clown oh avatar hasani 
All right, after this check. Guys, this is DA5 and 6 since our last shiny. No Lycanroc, no Lampent, no Kingler, no Toppy Lele. Let's get this clown. Do this. The boys was really good waiting for the new season. That was one I've seen one episode of. I'm interested in it. I just can't convince the wife to watch it so I can never watch it. Because <laughs> the only TV time I get is when we are hanging out. All right, uh, Hassan, we're going to do this. Let me, let me host this for you. <laughs> this is the run for Hassan. So says Sir Sheiker. Trying to find Hassan. Hassan, I'm going to do the same code as last time. Hi. Guys, I think this is going to be the last one for the night, too. Just so we're clear, but this is fine because this is the one that Hassan gets the shiny in. So, it's worth it. Um, Hassan, whenever you're ready, I just cut back. Guys, don't join until Hassan is in here. I just stuttered. Hassan is in here. Otherwise, I'm just going to close out anyways. Where is Hassani? A win for Hassan is a win for all. Indeed. Guys, the code is 66995588 for the last DA of the night. Get in here. <clears throat> Continuing my streak of zero shinies and DAs with calm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just siphoning everybody's shiny luck when we're we're in one of these. Guys, we need one more for Blacephalon. Oh, never mind. We have Jordan. Um Big Money. Ghost, dark, rock, ground, water. A lot of options. And of course, okay. Well, we're getting some of them now. All right, that's about all we're getting. This thing has zero defense, so there's no way we lose. That's a good one. We just need one Pokemon, and then we're good to go. I got in. You love to see it. <laughs> really like the first two seasons of The Boys, but for whatever reason, had no desire to watch season three. Hmm. It's weird that you got so far into it, and then you kind of noped out. need one more. We can go Cray Dilly. I would really like a Cray Dilly, but there's a girder on that path. There's an Araquanid too. Let's go right, right, right. Please no girder. Please don't do this to me, game. I, we did get the Xerneas. You know what? If a girder shows up, I'm not going to be happy about it, but we, we already got the dub over there, so maybe I just will have to grin and bear it a little bit, you know? Remember when I was asking for a Void Stare emote? Can we get that with Esper, please? The Vacant Stare fits so well and shows how I feel 99% feel of the time. Do neither of these blank stares show how you're feeling 99% of the time? Those are two very blank stares. One seeing a nightmare <laughs> unfolding. And the other one just being more of a monkey <laughs> blank stare. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like we got the blank stare kind of on lockdown here. We we got two of them, right? What do you, what do you guys think on that? No Turtwig emote first. I don't know. I'm I'm still. It's less of the Pokemon and more of the the emote the emotion that we're looking for. Next emote has to be on Calminum. It makes no sense, bro. <laughs> it's just like, it's tough. Like it, I can't even tell what the heck that thing is. That biblically accurate Calmin collecting angel. <laughs> when it's so small like that, it's impossible to tell. We don't have a sleepy emote, interesting. Ceiling Cat with the 10 gifties, buddy. I appreciate you. You've been popping off tonight. More so than usual. Going ballistic tonight. It's something about the critical role rage. 
<laughs> um, guys, if you got one of those gifties, please make sure to say thanks to old Ceiling Cat. And uh, everybody else, get some sneezles in the chat and make sure you're opting in. Exclamation gift. Click on the link. It's free. Free to you. On Calmanum, you need to do it. I'm I'm not I'm not fighting against the the on Calmanum phrase anymore. Although I still feel like it's <laughs> Here's Obamna. Sir, I have to be real it. with you homies as badly as I'd likely to see the album as no emote. On Calmanum is by far the best choice to add next. Come. <laughs> Um, well, Obama said so, so, I don't know. I will say we need quite a few members to get to old Uncalmanum. I don't know, dude, Uncalmanum. I do not like Girder. Emma, me either. You're, <laughs> you found your people. You know what? This has high horsepower. Dang. Hassan said, nah, bro. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with that. And you know what? I get it. I get it. Um. <laughs> thanks for the gifty. Yes. Uh, Cray Dilly. Can we beat Cray Dilly? We don't really have damage for that thing. I'm going to go left. I'm going to go cutie fly just because I don't want us to lose the final run. I'm going to play it extra safe. Slowpoke fits the channel better. Slowpoke's pretty good. And it is, it is my spirit animal. He is very similar to your boy. Uh, oh my god, I don't want a life orb. I'm just going to lap a berry. I'm not doing it on the second fight. Uh, also, very much a Slowpoke Bro King appreciator. Yeah. I'm surprised we... I mean, we used to have the lurking Meowth, which was kind of like Sleepy. Yeah, I that was kind of the closest we had, huh? I missed you getting the shiny. I, I'm telling you. We have had insane luck recently. Our DA luck has been bananas. Eminem versus Kalmanem. It's It's not going to go good for you, boy. I got no chance. <laughs> sleepy slowpoke emote. I'm down. I'm down for a sleepy slowpoke. I think it works. The monkey does fit the stair. Head empty. We do need a sleepy emote, but uncalmanum needs to happen. Kenny's also on board with this. On the uncalmanum train. DB Studios, you were actually here for the shiny this time. Yeah. I feel like you're around a lot though. You aren't missing all of the shinies, right? Like you're 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 here a lot of times. Uh don't waste my shiny luck on any mon, so I am not catching any other mon. Hassan, bro, just <laughs> just catch the other things. It doesn't hurt your chances here. It's, it's not like that. Just catch them. Don't do this. You don't want to miss out on these phases. It makes you so sad when you're 400 in for this, this Blacephalon and you haven't gotten anything. You don't have anything to show for it. You want to have just some, some little victories on the way up. Volt with the 20 out of nowhere. Volt. <laughs> Volt, I appreciate you guys. You know the drill, right? Whoever has gifted you a membership tonight, please make sure to say thanks. That is not free. It's free to you, not free to them. So show some love. Get some pay buttons. Some Mr. Cap is in the chat. And uh, yeah, make sure y'all are opted in if you're not already, because otherwise you're missing out on these gifties. Uh, you'll love to see it. Volt, I appreciate you. Appreciate all of you guys supporting, doing your thing. It's, <laughs> I know it, it seems like it happens a lot, guys, and that's because it is very frequent. The, the homies always supporting, and I greatly appreciate it. Um, tomorrow, guys, by the way, speaking of the, the dono deal, 
because of the dono deal your boy has a very exciting stream for us tomorrow i have a bunch of games that showed up from japan as well as a couple booster boxes to open up on stream so tomorrow's stream is going to be a little bit more of a like going through old game saves plus um like card opening deal it's gonna be a good time got a lot of stuff ceiling cat says i gotta get the last word in on this <laughs> another 20 ceiling cat buddy i appreciate you you've been popping off today everybody being the big time homies i appreciate you got trash can man as well yes guys get some some sneezles and some pay buttons in the chat and make sure to say thanks please if you get one of those um <laughs> is there a new blood moon ursa luna card in that set there is in fact there is a um blood moon ursa luna there's a couple of art rares for like uh diplin ev sinistra um there is a like alt art trainer of a uh, perrin and an art rare of uh growlith and they they go together it's kind of a cool set that perrin is the most expensive card in this set it's always the waifus but there's a lot of good stuff i want the art rares and any alt art cards i can get i'm always down with so we'll see we'll see what the luck is like lux welcome in may i ask why the sneasel is one of the emotes used for donos uh, that Sneasel emote is Ceiling Cat's emote specifically because Ceiling Cat be supporting quite a bit. The uh, the homie got one of those emote slots set aside. <laughs> Tapu Lele is the only shiny legendary I actually have. Um, well, I do not have it, but we have been finding all kinds of other things recently. Volt, 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 Volt. <laughs> I didn't even see it. I thought it was Ceiling Cat's thing still going. Volt with 50? Dude. Um, Volt, I appreciate you. <laughs> you couldn't, couldn't just let Ceiling Cat have the easy seat on the throne, huh? And then Ceiling Cat, of course. The 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 clap back. Uh guys, I don't even just a random end of stream right now. <laughs> uh you guys know the deal. If you get one of these gifties, please make sure to say thanks to whoever has gifted you. It's kind of this big mix of Volt and Ceiling Cat right now, just making everybody green. Uh guys, I appreciate you. You know the deal. Pay buttons, Mr. Kappas, Sneasels, Dealer's Choice, whatever you're feeling. Get them in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Absolute mad lads. I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, Z. Oh, Z. Z. <laughs> Z said, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, buddy. Uh, who did Z get? I'm trying to see it in the list. Car, Car, Carlitos? Carlitos got it. <laughs> Z just made sure to get that one, tossed his hat in the ring. <laughs> I appreciate you, buddy. No more grays. I'm telling you, we always seem to have these purges that happen at seemingly random times. Sniper stays true to his name. No, I appreciate it. I, I appreciate the, the commitment. And I gotta be honest. Like, any, any amount of gifty, don't know, whatever, is like already above and beyond like what anybody has to do on a stream, right? So like, I always appreciate it. Please don't feel like... I, <laughs> I know we have people popping off like crazy with the 50s and like... Y'all are crazy, <laughs> and I appreciate you. <laughs> but yeah, don't ever feel like uh, like like you have to go to bananas. I do appreciate you guys supporting if you have the means, but please don't 
Uh, don't go into a bad financial situation over me, please. Please. I appreciate you guys. Got a bunch of gifteds over time. I'm telling you, there's people here that have had gifted memberships for like an entire year. There's people who have just been coasting on gifties this whole time because of how consistent the homies are with these gifties. I'm telling you. Um, <clears throat> I'm catching up with chat. I'm sorry, guys. I'm behind. Raise with another gifty as well. Woken. Say, ask and ye shall receive. <laughs> Got the snipe. Calm and debt collecting. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, so, this is going to be our final check for the night, guys. Yeah, Ray's got the snipe. I'm telling you, we got some snipers in the chat. All right. Before anybody goes too crazy here, before we, we go deeper down this rabbit hole, I'm going to just give you guys the out on this. I appreciate you all. Um, we're going to do our final check of the night. That one at the top right looks weird. I don't think he's shiny though. Um, this is our seventh and eighth DA since our last shiny. Kenny, I appreciate you. I don't know if this is going to, we have so many in the backlog you know what right they now. Say, monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> On common <and> M. <laughs> when... <laughs> L underscore, L underscore, L underscore, L underscore, L underscore, L underscore. Oh, God, no. Okay. <laughs> Volt, I didn't see the, like, the alert Any for Candy this. 17 celebrates seven months of membership. I've been coasted on gifted. I greatly 17, appreciate. 17 months of gifty membership is insane. All right, guys. Um, We're going to raid some bunny, so stick around. Don't go anywhere. We're going to do our final check here, but before we do that... We're going to do our, our end of stream dealio. Guys, I really appreciate all of the support. As usual, I always say this at the end of every stream, but I know you don't have to pay anything to watch me on YouTube. So the fact that you guys decide to support, gift the homies, super chat, do all that stuff to, to help get cool things for the channel, it all goes back into this. I really appreciate you guys doing it. Um, we have a few people paying even more for these memberships. We have Woodrow the Kid, <laughs> Panky Rang, sorry, I'm seeing chat, <laughs> Zonathan04, Sir Shicker, Kasane V2, Z Toxic, Oxford Striplin, Chrissy, Ellie Dogmeat, Vlad Shorts, Gilgamesh, Porsche Nut, Pseudo Wudon, McPablo Joel, and in the cultist tier, we have Mistaken, Oriso, Ray's Plays, 8th Angus of the Grandmaster, Seedling Cat, Ouroboros, Volt, Fuji Toby. And Avatar Hassani 17 paying a ridiculous amount of money. Really, really appreciate you guys. Um, so let's do this final check and stick around because we're gonna raid somebody. I don't know where we're going. Ceiling cat. Ceiling cat. <laughs> Ceiling cat with another 10 gifties for this final check. Guys, make sure you say thanks. No girder. No ribombi. No Golduck. Blacephalon. Blacephalon. Volt. I appreciate you. Is it? Oh, that was just the alert. For, I, I appreciate you either way. <laughs> Blacephalon. Final check. Let me pick where we're going to go for our raid before I do this check here. Hmm. 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 All right. We found our target. Guys, Blacephalon, final check of the night. I appreciate you as always. That's okay. We got Xerneas. We got Xerneas. That's my copium. Guys, tomorrow, big stream. A bunch of Pokemon cards, a bunch of Japanese games. We're going to be seeing what Pokemon are in all of these things. Uh, it's going to be a fun night. And then we'll see what happens. We'll see how long it takes. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll do some stuff on the DSs. Who knows? But uh, it's going to be a crazy night tomorrow. Do not miss it. Same time. Good night, everybody. We're going to do a hashtag calm raid. We're going over to Trash Can Man's.
please be respectful. Please don't spam. And uh, yeah, give them a like, hang out for a little bit. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. <laughs>